Well, he's an owl boo. You want to come up here? Come on. Come on. All right. Y'all, you happy now? <laughs> uh, we'll give it a minute for everybody to come in. Hmm? Give it a minute for everybody to come in. No, nope, leave that leave that alone. Let's move that out of your way. Move that out of your way. Hi, Icy. I saw you posted a uh, uh, prompt page, Icy. Hi, Don, Miriam. So, yeah, we're going to work in this and make a shadow box today, I think. That's the plan, anyway. Let's see, Missy, Kristen, Ann, how you doing, Ann? Ann, do you have a specific time that you stream on the weekends? Is it every Saturday or is it every Sunday? Somehow I see you on the weekends, but I'm never sure exactly what time. Hi, Linda. Debbie Bruce, good morning. Hope you're all right, Debbie. I don't remember seeing you the last couple streams. I hope you're okay. Hi, Arlene, Pamela. Terry, Jackie D. I don't know if I know you either, Jackie D. Good morning. Um, Shaz, who else? Um, I had fun with that. Okay, I'm going to show it and Terry's. You and Terry have uh, prompt pages. Let's see, who else? Um, I think I've said hi to everybody. Missy. Um, okay, that's all right, Arlene. Thanks for lurking. Lurk away, Arlene. You don't have to say hi to every single person, I know. <laughs> uh, let's see, April. Good morning, April. Who else am I missing? Uh, Merkwood. Hi, Merkwood. Hope you're okay. I haven't seen you a while either. Um, who else? Uh, okay, so Anne says she streams every Sunday at 5. I'm assuming that's in the evening. <laughs> Not at 5 a.m. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, my gosh, Anne. I, I think it's 5, yeah. Crafty Jen, Barbara, Chicken Pot Pie, Society, <laughs> Hola. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, and of course, y'all know Malibu. Hi, Starla. I am correct. It's five in the afternoon. Okay. <laughs> uh, Wendy, who else am I missing? So y'all know I like to say good morning to everybody for the first few minutes. And uh, I'm Dee Dee, if you didn't know. I stream every Monday and Wednesday, 8.30 a.m. Eastern. Hi, Laverne. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay, I think I've said hi to everybody so far. Hope everybody's doing well. I got, uh, I showed these, I showed that I was going to show these books today. I only showed y'all the covers. Oh, well, thank you, Starla, for the super sticker. What, uh, what's, do you have a sticker you would like, Starla? You know the stickers? You want me to do a flip of the sticker book? Let me write you down. And I'm pretty sure I have your address, don't I, Starla? I'm pretty sure I have your address. Hi, Ann Makes. While we're sitting here with the cat. I'll do a flip of my sticker book so you can pick one if you like, uh, Starla, if Malibu will let me. <laughs> if Malibu will let me, let me, let me, let me flip, baby. Let me flip. Can you see them there? <laughs> I'll hold them up. <laughs> so if anybody, um, what you know, that does a super sticker, a super chat, I do uh, send you out a sticker if you, uh, as long as you send me your address to send you one. Let's see who else. So just look them over, see what you'd like. Okay, baby, gonna have to move move a little bit. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I'm gonna have to move a little bit. Come on, let's move over. Mama can't can't flip. <laughs> Hi, Janet. I wasn't sure if you were gonna be here today. How's how's your company? How's everything going? You have your company watching with you. There's the biker pug, the chicken. Let me go and zoom in one now that she's moved. I can zoom in a little. There we go. Um, yeah, so these are the stickers. So Starla, if you see something you like, let me know. You've probably seen them before. You're probably familiar with them, but I try to stream. I mean, I try to flip through them at least once a, once a week. So... <clears throat> let's see hi Elisa Elisa I have something I'm, gonna, I'm not going to tell you but wait till wait till October <laughs> going well she's still in bed so I'm outside watching okay um, Starla are you looking And there's uh, Princess Mal Mally, and then this is um, this is the uh, Scarecrow. Scarecrow. I'll, I'll just say Oz, Scarecrow, and Tin Man. Cats. <laughs> I did the I did these uh, one uh, Inktober. I did my cats as different characters for Inktober one year. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh. Let's see, going well, let's see, I saw that. Okay, so do you see anything you like, um, Starla? What would you like a sticker of? And I'll write you down. If you don't tell me, then if I have your address, I can send a random one. But um, yeah, let's see, uh, who else? Who else is here? So thank you, Starla, for the super sticker. Let me know. Let me know if you and, and if I missed it. I'm scrolling. I don't think you, I don't think you answered. Uh, oh, she wants to. I, okay, your daughter liked the axolotl. Okay, yes. And yes, I matched. Okay, gotcha. I wrote it down, Starla. Thank you. Scrolled back and saw it. Okay, I'm gonna go put that over here in my pile. All the other happy mail, the color book pages, the stickers, and everything. Hi, and thanks, Ann Makes. And Ann Makes, do you have one that you would like? <clears throat> Let me know. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Yeah, I got it. And and yes, I have your new your address. Okay, thanks, Starla. And uh, what would you like, Ann Makes? Panda. Okay, panda. It is. And I'm 90% sure I have your address, don't I, Ann Makes? If anybody's not sure if I have your address, send it again. It doesn't hurt. You won't hurt my feelings if you send me your address again to make sure. Um, so let's see. Okay. Bye, Starla. Thanks for popping in and supporting the channel. Um, did I see Pacola come in? There's my little Snapdragon. <laughs> How long have I been an artist? Pretty much all my life, April. And uh, and thanks for uh, being here, by the way. Uh, I I've drawn and and color penciled, sketchbook, took art. You know, I've taken art classes here and there. I've moved a lot because I was raised in the military and married the military. I think I've moved over thirty times. So. Um, yeah, moved a lot. So, you know, different classes, different here and there. And uh, when I went back to college, um, I took some art classes because I, I was minoring in art, actually. When I went back to college, I went back for um, journalism. But uh, I did minor in art, but I've always been an artist all my life. And I've been in this house and in this studio for over 20 years. So, yeah, let's see, Deb E. Who else? Well, let me go ahead and show Icy and uh, Terry Brett's prompts. And if anybody else did a prompt and they want me to show it, you just have to tell me your exact, 
you have to either directly tag me or tell me your exact uh, IG name because I don't I don't know everybody's uh, alternates. They're alternates. Let's see. So let's go here, here, and there's Terry. Okay, so Terry has two. She has two different ones from yeah uh, Monday. She doesn't like she says she doesn't usually do two before on Monday for Wednesday. But um, here's Terry's. If y'all don't follow Terry Bread Three, she's been just rocking these prompts, hadn't she, Janet? So this one, her prompts were hyacinth, chicks, and aardvark. Look at those little chicks, and they're all looking just the right direction. Okay, so it's, she says, um, the, the chicks goes, are you going to eat us? No, I eat insects. It must take a lot of them to fill you up. <laughs> Good one, Terry. And then her second one is her prompts were Castle Joy and Hat. So here she has a little princess, and I guess it's a little prince. And let's see. Let's party. <clears throat> Well, that's the castle built and the moat filled. What next? Oh, then she says, let's party. But look how cute their, her characters are. I tell her she should do a children's book or do something with her little illustrations because they're so good. And she's, and she's so imaginative. She can make up a little mini story just like on, a, on the spur of the moment. So those are really good. Those are good, Terry. If you want some more, let me know. And now let's see. Here's I see. So I see. Now, I don't know if I can. I tried to. Is this the same one? No. Yeah, that's it. I think. I see. Is this the one where you did the prompts were moths, any game, and almond? Yeah, I think so. So I decided to have moths playing poker. And they were using food as chips such as almonds, sunflowers, cashews, raisins, peanuts. The drawing was inspired by the famous um, Kosh Coolidge painting of dogs playing poker. Portraits, uh, prompts were from Dee Dee, and she tags me. So her prompts were moths, any game, and almonds. So she's kind of, look how cute. I bet an almond. <laughs> There's the chips and how much they're worth. Y'all have to go over there and look at it closer. So that's icy. <clears throat> Let me see. There it is. Icy girl with a U, blue. Icy girl, blue. That's so cute. There's the moth in the middle. <laughs> cute, icy. Good job. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Let's see, who else? Am I missing anybody? <clears throat> yeah, <laughs> I know, right, Janet? All right, so let's see. I did do a Barbie photography. Oh, thank you, April. <clears throat> Let me write you down. April, and you'll need to send me your address. Let me give you my um, email. Let's see, T H U R O. Okay. And do you know what sticker you would like? Here's my email. My email is always in my about section. Okay. I click something. Let's go back to comments here. Here we go. Inkscript. And okay. There's my email. Did you see what I said, Crafty Jen? No, I did not see what you said. I'll try to scroll back. Um, thank you, April. Tell me what sticker you would like. Let's see. How far back was it, Jen? Did you put it in caps? If y'all talk to me, put it in caps. <clears throat> Please. Hello, Charlie. <coughs> Let me get a sip of my water here. I'm scrolling back, Jen, looking for you. I don't see you and I don't see any other caps. So to ask me again, ask me again. Chat does scroll pretty quick here. So put it in caps again for me if you don't mind, Jen. 
And April, let me know what sticker you would like. So yeah, chicken. You want a chicken? This is one. Of the, this is a big one, but yeah, a chicken. Okay, gotcha. Chicken it is. And the, I did you grab my email so you can send me your address? <clears throat> uh, I don't see it. Just ask me again if you don't mind, Jen. I'm sorry, I did miss it. I did miss it. So ask me again, please. Um, <clears throat> let's see. What else? So I did a uh, Barbie photography yesterday. I'll show you my IG post and I'll show you. <laughs> I did. Um... <coughs> Let me get my voice going here. Um I did a, does a chicken come with a conspiracy? Yes, it does, Debbie, if you request it. You have to request a conspiracy, and one will uh, will be a, uh, attached. <laughs> so I did this Barbie photography yesterday. So I, do, I said, if y'all don't know Janet Nash, she has a dog, Freddie. Janet Nash is in the UK. I don't even know if Janet's seen this yet. But um, I do, I have certain Barbies have different uh, characters from some of y'all. And um, hi, Angie. And uh, <laughs> and Janet Nash and Freddie are one of two of my characters. Hi, Brooke. So she's saying, it's a little early, Freddie. She's looking at Freddie sitting in the, they're in the pumpkin patch or they're walking through a pumpkin patch. And she's got a little basket of uh, squash and some mushrooms. There's Freddie sitting on the pumpkin. And she's looking at him. <laughs> oh, my. Okay. <laughs> he, wanted, he wanted a pumpkin. So. <laughs> but anyway, so here's my Janet Nash doll. Uh, well, dressed as Janet. The, you know, this is the doll I use for Janet. Janet Nash, as opposed to our Janet, um, uh, the other our snarky Janet who is here, she has a doll as well. So I just have these little mushrooms in here, which I'm going to need these mushrooms. I think I'm going to need these mushrooms today. So <clears throat> she was carrying a little mushroom. She had a little squash. <laughs> and um, let's see, you you comment. You comment, you commented. Well, wait, let me scroll back. I must I must be missing something. Okay, the last thing I saw is Debbie. Does a chicken come with a conspiracy? I said yes. The next thing I see is Janet saying, I comment. Oh, yeah, you commented on my IG, but Janet Nash. I don't know if Janet Nash did. <clears throat> um, thank you, Debbie. Uh, let's see. And I still haven't seen Jen post, repost her question. So, okay. So we're going to keep going. So I put a little hat on, just put a little pin in there to hold it on her head. And uh, this little coat was either from Zandra or from Selena. They sent me a bunch of vintage Barbie clothes and handmade clothes. And this was in there. So, and she's got on little boots, little, little pants, a little dress. And uh, so that's our Janet Nash. I, I try to use the same girl, but I, you know, I change them up. So um, that's Janet Nash. And Freddie is here. There's little Freddie. All right, baby, gonna have to gonna have to move over a little bit. There's Freddie. And now Freddie's a big lab. He's not this small puppy, but I don't have a big lab, so this this uh, does for Freddie. <laughs> Uh, D, uh, is Mario Labuda a good choice for coloring books in good paper? Um, I don't know if she has multiple uh, book shafts. A lot of the girls now have some in hardback with thick paper. They, some of them do that and Amazon paper. So I can't, you'd have to tell me a specific book. Um, I have, I do like Mario Labuda, but I can't tell you. I can't, I've literally hundreds and hundreds of color books. So I do not remember the paper in every book. <laughs> Sorry, I have to have a little more specific. I try guys. <laughs> uh, so <clears throat> yeah, so if you want to see Janet and Freddie a little better, you can go look at my IG. So 
Um, let's see. So what my plan is for today. Um, <laughs> thanks, Jan other Janet. Janet Young is, is uh, the Janet always here. Janet Nash is our UK Janet. And if y'all have not watched Janet Nash and Freddie, they're so relaxing. They do out in the yard, in the garden, they take walks, they do journaling. And Freddie's usually always with Janet when she's doing her, her shows and um, having tea and tea and, and uh, crumpets. <laughs> no, tea and biscuits. So, <clears throat> yeah. Okay, so let's see here. Hi, sister. I do have a sister doll too. Um, sister's dates. She's she doesn't want to get married, so she dates, uh, especially around the holidays. <laughs> you see, sister out with new dates. She goes she goes on dates with, <laughs> and then I love uh, me and Denise as sis, Afro sensible sister's doll. The doll we ate after her is one of me and Denise's favorites because. The hair, it's just amazing. I don't have them up here. They're in the they're in the uh, Barbie condo downstairs. So I see you, baby. I see you. You're going to have to move over, though, in a minute. But she does have a specific doll, as does Janet Young. And let's see, Aunt Beck has one. I'm trying to think of who else. But I have, there's probably about eight people that I have specific dolls for. Me, here's here's the me doll here. I found my glasses, by the way. I found my glasses when I was organizing. This is the me doll. She's sitting there cross-legged with her, her glasses there. <laughs> I have purple glasses too. I, they're somewhere around here. I don't know. And then Arlene sent me this. Arlene sent me this little uh, cart last year. So I have, this is my um, Halloween decoration for my desk this year. This little cat with the little, floppy legs so I had him sitting in the cart and uh <laughs> sitting over so I love my little cart that Arlene sent me um let's see uh, um let's see okay so did she say something four times uh Janet yeah I have not seen you put anything in caps so Janet could you uh confirm for me and ask tell me what she's I see you crafty Jen Obviously, I see you. There's your there's your comment, but I'm not seeing any questions in caps. So maybe Janet can tell me. Um, let's see. Okay, Charlie, lurk and watch. Uh, so they're not seeing it either. So it's not just me, Kitty Jen. They're not seeing your question. I don't know why, but it's not appearing. Uh, let's see. The now I let's see. Shaz says, I know you got loads. I'm wanting a grayscale and and print it on good paper that you can use alcohol. Well, the al actually alcohol markers work really good on the thin, thin paper. They work. You just got to, you know, they'll go through. So you have to put um, you have to put something behind it or make sure it's not a single, you know, it's not double page because you'll ruin the back side. But the thin papers actually work really, really good uh, for the alcohol markers. So, you know, you might just try the thin paper books, Shaz. Grace, and I've been showing the grayscales. If y'all want to see the color, I've got over 500 color book videos. So, let's see. Uh, Pecola is not seeing you either, Kitty Jen. So, we don't know what's going on. Uh, so, I mean, we're seeing your, we're seeing your other comments, but not seeing anything in caps. Uh, hi, Susan. Um, yeah. Okay. Pecola suggests just try putting it without caps. Although I'm seeing everybody else's stuff in caps. Like there's Elisa. <clears throat> yeah, me too, Elisa. Cause they blend, they stay wet. It stays wet and blends. Right. So I do like it on the cheap paper. Uh, let's see. Okay, so hi, Nashua. How's it going? How's everything on your part of the world? 
Um, okay, so we're going to move on now. And that means Malibu's got to move over a little because I want to flip through. But you got to move over. move over just a little bit, baby. You can still lay down. Just lay down right here. Lay down right there. Okay, lay down right there. Yes, you heard me. So my here's my plan. I'm going to first show you the books. I've not really dug into them yet because I kind of wanted to do it on the spur of the moment because these frames, the shadow box frames were on sale at Hobby Lobby yesterday. Well, this week for 50% off. So we're going to do this. Wait for it. We're going to do this. <laughs> we're going to do this shadow box. So, uh, yeah, that's the plan. And so let me go ahead and show the books first. Then we'll pick some pages. I have I have a few things marked that I just came across while I was kind of flipping. But I haven't really gone page by page yet. And uh, so that's what we're going to do first. All right. So let's go through the door book. Y'all know I love doors and windows. So these are put out by, let me put, the, put it over here. Where's the, let's see. I think this one's in the back and the other one's in the front. Kate Curry and Portos. Now, Portos is on Instagram, and it's Porto. Portos is a good guy, and I've not found Katie Curry on. Um, I've not found a, a a specific IG for her, but they work together. Um, so Portos is a good guy. Is uh, works with Katie Curry, and Portos did the jar book which by the way, I have since varnished. I've been trying to varnish some of my pages. So let's go ahead and let me show you this. This one still might be a little wet because I varnished it this morning. Let's see. Oh, off that baby. <clears throat> so, and you do want to make sure they're dry before you close them up. So let me go ahead and keep this here just in case. But I did varnish. See, I'm trying to varnish them as we get them done. Here, this one. This one is done with the jar book. Let me just see if I have it handy. Mm -hmm. um, here's the sewing one. Here it is. Okay, so, and we did this on stream, so there is a video for this, and um, so this is the done by Port, Portos, and his, this book was done with the matte paper, which I colored, added color pencil to, and these two by Kate Curry and Portos are the shiny paper, so they're more vibrant, but I have since varnished this page, so you can see it's varnished. So this one, this page was done with the jars. So, and you can get all these on Amazon. Okay. All right. So, okay, Jen, leave and come back and we'll, and try again. Or ask in lowercase for, you know, go ahead and ask in lowercase. One of the mods will tell me what you said, but leaving and come back might work. All right. There we go. I see you in caps there. <clears throat> Wants to show the prompts. What uh, you want some prompts, or do you want me to show your prompts? Did you do a page, Jen? I did not get a notification, um, but I saw that there. I ha I've been showing the prompts. I showed Terry's and I showed Icy's. Um, did you did you do one? You'll have to let me know. Okay, so that's the prompts, and I like I said, I've been varnishing them. So. Um, Let's put this one over here. And I do want to put another one of this page right back here. I'll show you this one. I want to use this page in my book. This page. I want to use it. It's, it's like a picture of a, of a journal. Like, you know, it's a double page. And you could use it like a journal. But I'll probably cut it and use this in my journal. Okay. So the, the collage journal. So we'll get to that here in a minute. Okay, so, all right, so let's see. I see you, Crafty Jen. Let, all right, hang on, guys. Let's let's stop and do, let, just a minute. I want to try to catch everybody that does the prompts. <clears throat> all right, let's see. Did you tag me? All right, let me go look for my tags, Jen. All right, let's see. I see I see and Terry's. Did you tag me, Jen? Let me ask before I keep looking. 
because I don't see where you've tagged me. You have to tag me, guys, or I'll be looking forever. I get hundreds of notifications every day. Y'all don't, y'all don't even know, uh, which I don't mind. I love everybody, but I'm only one person. So you have to be specific. And Jen, I do not see a tag for me. So you'll have to go back, go back and tag me in it. Okay. On that, on the, on what you want me to see, tag me in that. Okay. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and do the door first. You sent, you sent it to me. How Jen? You sent it to me how? I do not see it in my notifications. I don't see it in my um, messages. Let's see. Hang on. Let me go back and flip through. Let me flip through from yesterday. Let me go back to yesterday. Is it yesterday you sent it? All right. <clears throat> Let me go back. Hang on. Okay. No, you said, okay. You sent it this early this morning. Okay. I see it now. Okay. So it's Jennifer Watts is her name. So that if anybody wants to find it, it's in message. Did you send it in regular? Okay. So here it is. All right. So Jennifer Watts is Jennifer Disney Love. We couldn't find you on Monday either. So here's what she did. Her, um, her prompts were cro crocodile questioning and hourglass. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to read that, Jen. Y'all are going to have to go over there and read it. But she did the, here's the crocodile. There's a crocodile. So y'all have to go over there to Jen's. Okay. Jen Disney Love. So I can't read it right now, Jen. <clears throat> but y'all check it out. For some reason, it's not wanting to focus for me. I missed her crocodile. So, yeah, y'all go go check her out, okay? Okay, anybody else real quick while we got Instagram here? Does anybody else have any um, prompts? I love doing the prompts, guys. I just have to be able to find them quickly. It, it, it takes up way too much time for me to try to find you and you just tell, not, you know, not tag me in it. <clears throat> okay, anybody else have any? So, Jen, look, see down here where you put your, see where you put this down here? You need to put at and my, my name, okay, so that it tags me. Otherwise, I don't find you, okay? All right. All right, guys, <laughs> let's keep moving on. Okay, so there's a, this book belongs to... And this one is the doors. So there's tons of doors. I have not picked any doors. Then the back page, of course, some of the back. <clears throat> Hang on. Let me get a sip of water. Okay. Some of the back pages are as pretty as the front one. So you might, you know, decide whether you want to get two of them if you like both sides. <coughs> I'm liking the little doors because, like I said, I'm going to want to do something in, you know, a frame here. And, uh, yeah, see, like, the doors on the back. So this is Katie Curry's. <clears throat> I have to go get me a Fig Newton. I did have one before I started streaming, so I put something in my, something in my um, voice. Before I got so look at these columns right here. Look at those columns. Aren't those pretty? You might want to use one or two of those. I haven't decided. I'm gonna do a flip, and then I'm gonna cut some out, and we're gonna, you know, start uh, putting them in the in the frame. So I gotta get crack a lacking. All right. Let's see. See, there's more columns. So these are all doors. I love them all. And, you know, they have the little, um, I have used some of the little, um, like little fairy doors in some of the other little boxes that I've, shadow boxes I've done. And uh, so I didn't pull those to show, but I do have a stack of those that I've done. Look at that, that one there. So can y'all see them okay? <clears throat> I hope y'all can see them okay. 
I really like this tree. I think I want might want to use that tree. I think I'll cut that out. But I like that too, but I like this more. All right, let's see. Got some tape on there. All right. Oh. Okay, so I think I'm going to try to use this. And I'll take the glass out and this backing out of there. So it's got about an inch, a little over an inch depth in there. So, okay, let's keep rolling here. See, I like this too. And I want to try to do like a door opening. So I might try that as well. All right. And I did mar mark this not for this box, but for the um, for this other one that I want to do. This one in my journal. I want to use those doors in that. So there we go. Um, please share your experience. And again, follow Poor Toast is a good guy on IG. So I'm going to go back through them again and see what else I want to use. But I'm going to go through the window book real quick. And uh, there's a lot of their books here. Um, Y'all know I've got quite a few of them. And uh, I show them as I get them in. This one has nice backgrounds and windows. So like this, you know. Um, I did have one picked back here for a background. So we'll see if I still decide to use that because I want to use these doors. So I'm just going to flip through. These are the windows. Let's see here. Barbara, Susan, who else am I missing? In Taylor. Um, so anybody that I've missed, <clears throat> I love this. See something like this in the background? I'm not sure. We'll see. But I do like that. So these are all windows. Very vibrant because they're the shiny paper. <clears throat> so I really love both of these books. So thank you. Kate and Poor Toast for putting these out. I like the mushrooms. We'll probably want to use some of those, but I like this too for about, well, I don't know. I could probably forgo that. We'll see. I might cut that out too. Um, sometimes you just got to decide on one side or the other. So flipping, see, this is kind of what I was thinking of something like this in the background. But if I go with the forest theme, I could still use some of the blue at the back, you know, in the background, you know, on the sky, I mean. But we'll see. And then this one, like I said, I want to use this one in my uh, collage book. <clears throat> All righty. So I have to decide what I want in the background. Let's go ahead. I know, right, Ann Makes? All right, so let's go ahead and take, open the back here. Always make sure that you, this one is, is um, well, yeah, this one too. You want to make sure that you have, like this one has two hanging hooks at the top and uh, only one on this side because it can hang this way. So you want to make sure that you work on it um, the right way because this is, uh, and I'll tell you the price in a minute. This is, um, a, you know, you're going to work on this actual board here. Let's get all the things open here. There we go. Say, so you want to make sure that you got the hangers at the top. So what I usually do with these, first off, they have the pins in here that pin down the the piece of uh, paper on the uh, velvet. It's velvet. I'm going to, and I remove this because I paint and do the collage on it. But this is a seven by 19 and it's normally $24.99, but they're 50% off this week at Hobby Lobby. So um, I got it for 12 bucks. All right. Let me put these pins over here, my little pin thing. All right. So then. I want to take off 
peel off the velvet, which I will still use for something else, bar Barbie related. See, so just peels right off. <clears throat> okay, just peels right off. Move that off to the side because I won't be using it for this project. <clears throat> All right, then this has got a little bit of a rough texture, so you can either sand it down. I just usually take a baby wipe and just get any dust stuff off. Let me move this up here out of the way. Hopefully that will, the glass won't fall out. Let's make sure, yeah, it's in there pretty good. It has a, it has this little uh, wood, look, if I can get, it's got, well, it, this comes out too. There's got a little wood barrier all the way around that's holding the glass in that can come out too so it's not gonna what i'm saying is it's not gonna fall out all right so let me go ahead and get a baby wipe the insert would make nice spacey background the insert this you mean this right here and yes i paint the backgrounds Maybe I should go get one or two of the other ones in the other room so you can kind of see. If you haven't seen them before, I do paint the backgrounds and glue, do mixed media on them. So this just gets the dusty, like, little bit off. But again, I'm going to paint and glue on top of it so it doesn't matter. You can see there's the little, the little screws, hooks right there. It's all going to be painted over. The picture they had in the frame. Oh, mm, yeah, I probably, I might use that in a, in a collage, you know, something else, but I won't use it in this. Okay, so let's see here. Now, I'm going to move that right there and look at my, um, these backgrounds that I thought about using. So, at first I wasn't going to do foresty, and then that's kind of why I think I tabbed these blue ones. But so like this might be a kind of a, a vibe, the right vibe for these forest um, pieces. And here comes Malibu again. I might have to put her out like this. This is good. I like this. All right, let me get my knife here. This has the same kind of vibe. Can y'all see? How it's kind of kind of goes with as opposed to that i mean it could but i think that this goes better so let's see what else we got because i'm going to do a whole scene going across and uh i'm not going to need a whole lot of background because these are big right those are these are pretty big so i'm thinking like doors on the side maybe the moon in the middle or just maybe a little bit off to the side and uh just let's see maybe no that i want the tree over here because i got this well i'll probably cut that tree off anyway so maybe this door here this tree here i'm just i'm just doing it as we go along you know um <clears throat> so let's see i'm gonna keep going here and flipping i'm right now i'm kind of looking at backgrounds i like these castles down here that might be good kind of in the background. Or this might be a good collage page. Because uh, I'm kind of doing forest themes. So let's keep looking. I kind of like this right here. But that's a little bright. Because these are kind of muted colors now. Now that I'm going with the forest, you know. Look at that. That's cute. <clears throat> that was like some of the stuff Co uh, Colleen was doing last week. Let's see. Oh, so here's another kind of muted one. I don't need two moons. All right, so I'm kind of liking. Now I'm going to kind of pick a couple windows here. Um, so y'all get to see a flip again. I'll save it for another collage, yeah. All right, let's see. This one with the little plants kind of goes. You know, I might go with that one. What's on the back? Yeah, I can go with that. Let's see. And I'll just pick, I'll pull a few, and then we'll see how it works out. 
And then I'm going to put some different flowers, my three-dimensional mushrooms and other things. Let me just cut these down a little. They'll be cut down even more, but I'm just going to kind of get the white edge off so I can kind of get a better idea. <clears throat> a better idea of what we're going to go and I can cut right along there so it looks like it's blended in or I can paint it in. So we'll see. All right, guys, I'm trying to, I want to make sure I get, I'm trying my best to get this done. I'm trying to get this done. But I can go pick a couple of the other small ones that I've done to show you kind of where we're going. All right, so like this, and then I'll either paint, make some more stars, more background, get rid of the white there. All right, so I'm just going to kind of trim this down just a little until I decide. You know, and all the white will be gone. All right, so let me go run get those other. Let me go run get those other boxes real quick. <clears throat> oh, I'll get that in a minute. I'll show you the other two we did maybe two weeks ago where we did the pink castle and dragon and the sewing one. I'll show you those two. All right, let's see. Um, Didi, where do you find the books? They're not in Hobby Lobby. They're on Amazon, uh, Angie. These are not in uh, these are not in Hobby Lobby. They're in, they're only on Amazon. Okay. All right, <clears throat> let's move that up there. Okay, so got a little dust on the, these two because I haven't pulled these two for a while. So, and the, there will be a glare. You'll see my camera up there. So here's one with the doors, little mushrooms and little flowers. So there's that one. <clears throat> and this one, try to move it over so you can kind of see. They're all, and these are on IG if you want to see them close up without the glass. Thank you, Pacola, for the link for the book. And then this one, this is my favorite. I made this one for myself. <clears throat> it's got the doors and the, the clock at the top and the space. So there's this one. Kind of see the. Door, there we go. You can see the door is kind of open there. And then these two we did on stream a couple weeks ago. So there's this one. And there's close-ups of them on IG. And there's a lot of glitter on this on these. You can't probably tell because of the glare of the glass. But I'm not going to take them out of the glass right now. So... And they are pop dotted up, so they're dimensional like this, this. They're like pop dotted, so they're you could, they're uh, dimensional. So there's that one, and then a tiny one. This small one's like a five by seven, and it's the sewing. Oh, let's put it upside down. Uh, the sewing one got a little thread in there, and. Uh, just little things in there sewing related the little so yeah thanks terry i like the pink one too that was a fun one to do we did that one a couple weeks ago on stream all right let's get a sip of water all right so there's a cut let's see let me come back to the windows all right this is where i left off my chair spun around and knocked it on the floor. All right, so let's keep looking here at the windows. 
And again, I'll probably pick a couple and then we'll decide which ones I want to use. There's some Christmas ones, fall ones. I like that little mushroom. I like those mushrooms too. I think I am going to cut this out. I'm going to cut these mushrooms out. Let me just take this page out. Hang on. All right, so I'm going to cut these three, these three mushrooms. And I did forget to do it on one of the boxes that I did. And I tell y'all to do it, and then I forget, I forgot to do it on uh, one of the boxes. But what you want to do, if you're going to pop dot something up, you know, make it dimensional, then what you want to do is glue these down on a piece of cardstock before you cut them out. Like, let me just go ahead and do that real quick because I know I'm going to want to use those. Let me get some card stuff. Okay. So what you want to do is glue them down. And I really like to use my um, uh, Eileen's Tacky, but glue sticks too as long as you're real good about gluing. Um I just like to make sure. So you want to glue these down. And when you glue something down like with paper, and that's in collage or any kind of, you know, real paper craft, what you really want to do is smooth that out. You don't want to leave the, those bumps because that will show on the other, that it'll make bumps. So I'm going to just glue these down. because this will give it some sturdiness when you cut them out. And trust me, you want to do this before you cut them out because you don't want to have to recut around those mushrooms twice. Now, if you're going to paint around them, but in this case, I'm not because I'm going to make them pop dotted. But if you're going to paint, lay them down on the base, you can paint that out. So that's, that's kind of different. Do you have any questions? Put it in caps. Let's see, Didi, where... Where are you ready? Give out. Um, okay, let me make a list. If anybody wants prompts, I'll write them down. So Jen, Kitty, Jen. So we'll do that after we get done with uh, with this. So if you want a prompt, let me know. Uh, I'll write it down. Hi, Christopher. Who else am I missing? Thank you, Pacola. Pacola's putting in. Where's my mouse? <laughs> Pacola's putting in links here to book up some of the books. Terry wants two sets. Okay, Terry, two. Okay, I'm writing it down. I uh, just put it in caps, guys, so I see it. And if I miss it, don't email me. Don't yell at me. So, um, <laughs> you know. Okay, Princess Nicole. Nicole wants one. Okay. All right, I'm writing y'all down so we can do them all at the same time. All right. Um. After these, I think I'll be taking a break to catch up on some other things. I don't, I, Terry, you've been rocking these. I mean, I don't blame you. <laughs> you know, you've been doing so much. I don't blame you. Um, so let's see. Um, all right. So I will cut these. I'm not going to do it right now, but I just want to remind, remind myself. Because one, on one of the ones that I did last week, I forgot to put them on cardstock and it was a little floppy. And I'm going, why is this floppy? It's because I forgot to put it on cardstock. So now when I cut these out and put some foam, uh, foam tape blocks or dots behind it, it will be sturdy. It's not going to be floppy, right? So you want to try to remember to do that. Oh, I'm so glad you like doing them, Terry. I really am. Because, you know, I made an icy, icy wants a set. Okay, icy, I'm writing you down. Um, I got my pen, pen and paper right over here. All right, now I lost my lid to my, my pen. Oh, well. All right, so I'm going to set this aside because I'm going to want to cut those out. All right, so let's see what else I might want to use. <clears throat> And what I'll do is after I start cutting into these books, I really want to keep it with the book so I know what book I got stuff out of. When I take it out of these collage books, what I'll do then 
is this is how I store my collage fodder is in these different um, snap sleeves. So what I'll do is I'll when the books start getting cut, when they're just like this with one or two things cut out, the books just stay stacked up. But once they start getting really cut up, I'll put them in these so that all the bits and pieces <clears throat> will go in there too. That's how I store my collage fodder is in those uh, sleeves. Um, let's see. Oh. <laughs> Only I'm gluing myself to car stone. <laughs> Good one, Arlene. I'm gluing myself to car stone. We'll flop the stop the floppy. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Uh, at least said she ordered those snap sleeves. They are amazing. They're really not expensive. You know, for you get like 15, 12, 15 in a pack for seven dollars or something well, that's what it was when i bought the last set I'm, I'm not sure and some of them have the little you know i don't care if i don't use this um the little tags so some have these little tags some don't have them i don't care if it does because i just look and see what it is <laughs> but yeah i really like them elisa let's see all right let's continue on with the windows Let's see what else we got here. Um, like the cat. But anytime you see a black cat, like this one has pumpkins. You always think of Halloween, you know. I don't know why that is, but that it is the case. All right, let's see. There's another little mushroom there. It's on the back of the seat. I'm going to use that page in my journal. I'm just looking. I'm 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 pulling more than I know I'm going to need. All right, let's see. This one is similar to the three I already pulled. Uh, again, this page is going in my journal, my collage journal, the one that you just saw a little while ago where I'm varnishing the pages. Oh, let's see. I'm thinking forest though. All right. So I think those windows will be good. All right. So now let me go back over here to the door book. And let's just look in it again. Let's look in this one again. <clears throat> Hi, Annette. Who else am I missing? Uh, now, that's why I try to catch y'all at the beginning so I can say hi to as many people as I can. Because I know I miss people. Uh, the chat, I look away and the chat's a completely different screen. So it, it just really rolls fast. But I, you know, not trying to ignore anybody. I do go scrub through my chat after the streams later on that evening and I'll scrub through and see if there's new people I missed and go check out your channels and things like that. Cause I don't like to miss people, but uh, you know, I, I do my best. Okay. Let's see those two. Maybe I got those two doors. If I use this window, I really need maybe one more little door. Well, I probably don't really. I think those three might be, but I'm trying to use as much of it as, as many things as I can, you know, <clears throat> this one is good. That kind of goes with the vibe. I think I'll go with that one. So these three doors and a window. And again, they may not all fit or work, but I'm going to, I'm going to try. So let's see. Oh, I really love this one, too. What's on the back of that? Okay, I can forego the parquet floor. So maybe this one. I like. I really like that one because it stands out a little bit from these. This one's almost so similar to that. So I'll probably go with that. But I'll just keep them out. Let me just keep flipping through the book and see if there's anything else I, I, that I'm attracted to. <clears throat> these doors are nice, too. But I don't want to cut that one up. Okay, let's see. Some more trees. I might have enough trees. I love that one, though. I'm going to cut it out. And I like the little columns, but that kind of, I have to have the right, like something like this, to have the columns in, a, in that kind of a setting. So let's keep going. I like this too because I'm going to have some blue in the background, but not that much. Just talking to myself. 
Oh my gosh. Uh, <clears throat> oh, and also I saw this morning. If y'all do y'all remember Lily? Lily, Queen Lily back from Ustream. She did some, and I don't know if I don't know if I copy and pasted it, but if you go to Art Journey, <coughs> she has two videos up. I've only watched one. Not the most current, but the one right before. And she has videos up on comparing uh, Prisma colors from different parts of the world. I'll leave it at that. And comparing them and uh, the quality where they got. And she contacted, you know, people in the UK, the US, China. So she's got a whole bunch of information on color pencil, uh, Prisma color pencils and, and others too, to compare. So, um, yeah, y'all need to go watch Art Journey, the last two videos and watch them in order. Watch the one and then the current one so that you can, you know, get all the information on that. Oh, I like that too. See, I'm like, that's so much like this one. But I like this one better than that one. I think I'm going to go with this. Oh, no, I like now well, maybe this one, the blue. I think I'll cut them both out just to see. So, yeah, Art Journey, Lily, if y'all remember her, she's in the UK. And uh, she used to be, she used to imitate the queen during prom, during uh, New Year's Eve. <laughs> Y'all remember. And uh, so she's, uh, she does a lot of color book videos. So if you like color book videos, color, and she's been spending months. She spent months on this, guys, contacting people. She came back from vacay and then got in touch with, you know, them again. And so they're very informative. You know, so just watch. You got to watch, and they're the one I watch is an hour long. It's an hour long, so just go bookmark it if you want to see it later. But Art Journey is her name. Uh, thank you, Pacola. There's her. There's uh, her channel. But go watch the last two videos on the pencils. On the pencils, very informative, and she did so much research. All right, so now I got a lot of doors and windows. More doors than windows, but um, I'm still flipping here. Still seeing what attracts me. Love these. These will go in my journal. So will that one. Yeah, th those definitely will go in my journal. So, okay. I think we're about there. So, again, Kate Curry and Poor Toast. So poor toast you can find on IG. I've not found Kate Curry on IG. I don't know if they just work together and they just go under poor toast, but um, if that's how you can get in contact with both of them. So the door and the window. And I do, I will put these in the uh, thumbnail <clears throat> so you can see them in my thumbnail. Okay. All right. Let's see what we can do now. Let's see. Let's cut these down here and see what uh, if I'm going to have any of these doors. I'm going to have at least one of these doors popped up. So I'll want to glue it to cardstock. Okay, but I don't know what yet. All right, so let's see what we're going to do. Do I like... Let's just trim these down so I get a better idea. Oh. There we go. Hi, Jane. Oh, I say hi to Susan. I say hi to Shaz. All right, so let's see. I want to have this and maybe some of the tree. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and just size it here. And I can paint any edges, maybe some gold edges. So I'm going to want to, and I'll probably want to tear, well, this one might be off, off the edge, so I won't need to tear that. But if you're going to paint anything in, mix me, you know, paint it in with your collage, torn edges, and you can go one way and there will be no white showing. Um, but if you tear your edges, it will blend, your, your, your paint will blend much easier than with uh, a cut edge. So if you go one way, you're not going to get the white core showing. Okay. If you go toward you like this, you're going to get the white showing. So let me just show you both. Okay. So it depends on how you tear it as to 
what will show and what won't. Okay, let's see. Hello, Kat. Um, I don't remember what your old name was, Kat. What was your old name? All right, so now I'm going to, people change their names. I'm not a, I'm not a photo memory person. <laughs> All right, so I'm thinking that, or I may even move it over just a little because I do want this other door in here. So what I will do is, I might want it down here, and I'll paint. I'll paint in things. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and tear the, this out here. And you really want to take your time. I know I go fast during stream. But you really want to take your time when you when you do projects like this. And if y'all missed it, we're doing a shadow box. This is what we're working in, the size. All right, so let's see. Hi, Rainbow Kitten. All right, so I'm going to want to do something like this. And again, I will blend this in. I don't know if I want to pop this one up, that door, and then leave, you know, like leave the green. Or maybe this one can be glued to the back. All right, so let's see. Maybe just a little less. Let's trim a little bit off. Move it over just a tad there. And maybe a little down. Somewhere right about there. And again, this will be painted in. All right. And I'm going to be putting in dimensional things because the shadow box has about an inch of space that you can put things in, you know, to pop it up. All right. Let's see. Now I want this tree kind of way in the background. So this will be like a background foresty thing. So let's kind of put it back here. And then this tree, I might want to pop this one up. So let's go ahead and kind of, I want my scissors, my smaller scissors. Let's go ahead and cut this out. Maybe some of those branches I might leave. Oh, if I'm going to pop this out, I need to glue it down. All right, let me just go ahead and get these big areas cut out here. All right, so now I'm going to glue this down on here. <clears throat> and I usually keep my um, glue in a, in a cup here like this upside down so it's always ready to go so i've had it sitting here on my desk for a minute so i've got to shake the glue down there we go but if, as long as you keep the cap on it keep the cap on and then you can put it like keep it like this so it's always ready to use you won't have to wait to get the glue down to the tip all right, so I'm going to smooth this out so it doesn't have lumps and bumps. All right, so let me just go ahead and put this down here. So now when I cut this out, it'll have some sturdiness behind it. And I, I have to pull the card saw because I forget to do this. And you really don't want to have to, you really don't want to have to cut uh, little details out and then have to cut them out again after you put card stock down. So... All right, so let's just uh, let's just get the bulk of this off here for a minute. <clears throat> I'm just going to make a little forest scene. So let's just get some of the oh, small scissors. Let's get some of the uh, bulk of the white out here. And you don't have to leave every branch. You can cut away anything you want. It's your collage. All right, so this is going to be popped up, and I'm going to trim some of the other stuff out, but this will be kind of like in here. But I will cut out some of this so that it kind of blends. And then I'll put some little mushrooms, little flowers, who knows. 
in front of that. All right, so let's see. How is that going to fit? That will fit pretty good. All right, let's trim the top a little bit. Am I making this clear enough for you guys to understand how we're working this? This will be painted in two. This will be pop dotted up. Painted, painted. This will go behind there. Uh, I really don't want to pop dot this up because I want something else pop dotted up here. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Do I want another door? Do I want a window? I'm going to have these little mushrooms. They're going to be scattered through. Um, let's see. Do I like this one? It's a little bright. I think that's a little bright. I really like this one. I think we'll do this one. Hmm. So do I want this one pop dotted up too because i want to open i want to have some of the doors cut open so probably okay so let's go ahead let me just trim off the excess okay so i think we're going to go with those although i do like the blue that kind of brings in some of the blue i might go with that i think i will i think i'll go with the blue one because it has it brings in some of the blue of the sky. All right, so let's go ahead and glue this one down. Let's get another piece of cardstock here. <clears throat> Thank you, Terry. <laughs> I'm just talking it out loud so that y'all can kind of go like, well, what's she thinking when she's doing that? Well, I try to tell y'all what I'm thinking. <laughs> as long as it's nice. <laughs> As long as it's nice, I'll try to tell you. <laughs> uh, all right, let's see. All right. <clears throat> all right, let's. All right, do that. Got my mushrooms here. Now go to the smaller scissors. Make sure there's no bumps and stuff in here. All right, so now I'm just going to kind of... And if you use any of the... Uh, <clears throat> if you use a combination of the matted, you know, the paper that's like the jars that have more of a matte finish, you'll probably want to varnish those make sure they're on cardstock. You might want to varnish those to make them shiny so they're all consistent. And let me make sure I don't have any. Take a card and, you know, make sure you have no uh, wrinkles and bumps. Um, otherwise, you know, even it'll be behind glass, so it won't be that obvious. But if you want it all to be consistent as far as the paper shine is concerned, you know, you got to think about that when you put these together. So, you know, the best way really is to get it all laid out, maybe sketched out, maybe a photo on your phone, how you want it to be before you start, you know, permanently affixing things and painting things in. Uh, plan it out. I'm not really planning this out that much. And that's fine if you like to work that way like I do. But you know, and plus I'm trying to, you know, be a little hurried because of the stream, right? I don't want to get as much done as I can. So <clears throat> that's, this is on cardstock. And again, I want to open the little doors, have them maybe, you know, I don't know if I'll have them all have, you know, something to peek, peek in the door. Like this one, the door is going to open this way. So I, I will at least cut it open. Whether, do I hear my cat snoring somewhere? I do hear her snoring. I don't know where she is, but I hear her snoring. But uh, <laughs> so I can at least, and I'll paint the back of it here so that at least black, so that if I have it open like that and you look this way underneath, if you can you know, look underneath, you'll see it's black. So that's, you know, but if I do this, see, it, you may not see it just when you look directly at it. Um, but when you look a little bit sideways, see you'll see those trees back there. And maybe some mushroom or something. So somewhere around in here, like, well, maybe a little up because this one's going to be a little further down. 
So maybe this one can go a little bit right about there. And then maybe some other things down in here. So I'll want to paint the background of that black. Okay, same thing for this little door. Um, so how do I want to do this? You can kind of go up the side of the steps or follow follow something. In this case, I don't think I want that cut, so I'll probably just get a knife. And uh, I'm just going to cut this door open. <laughs> Let's see, which way does it open? Yeah, it opens this side. So I'm going to just go ahead and at least get it started there. Oops, I want the bottom too. So even if I don't put anything behind this one, you can still see that it has been uh, opened. Like this. So even if it's just like that, I'll still paint that black right there so that if anything shows. Okay, but even if I don't have anything showing back there, it, it you can still see that it's open, right? These little open doors. I want the doors open. All right, so same for this one. This one, though, is going to be glued down all the way, but I still would like the door to open. So we're going to go ahead and open this door. <clears throat> I probably should put some cardstock on this uh, door, uh, even though it's going to be the rest of it's going to be glued down. The door won't be. Let's see. Do I want to do that? How do I want to do this? I'm going to do it this way. I probably won't have this be real open, just a little, just a little. And this one has some color on the other side. I'll still probably do it, put, paint it black. But this one, when it opens up, you'll see the stars behind there. So something like that. I want to round this off. So when you open this up, you'll see that. And then the, the forest will kind of cut the moon off a little. Then this will be painted in as well. All right, so I think that's kind of where I want to go. The other stuff is going to be accessories. <laughs> okay, so let me get some paint out. Let's move the books. <clears throat> All right. Get a palette here. All righty. Not seeing anything else in caps. Hi, CK. All right. All right, there's my glue. There's my mushrooms over here. Let me go ahead and grab out some. Um, well, I'm getting out the paint, too. I'll go ahead and get out the uh, prompts. I'm going to get a stack of prompts. So we can do that at the same time. So I'll go ahead, everybody that's asked for one, I'll go ahead and do yours now. If anybody else wants any, we'll take a break sometime and do those. Okay, so let me, real quick, before I pull prompts, let me pull paint colors. So I'm going to need black and white. I'm going to need some brown. I'm going to need some uh, gray blue. Let me kind of lay them down so you can see. And some mossy, a couple of colors of green. So I want a mossy green. And I can mix some browns if I needed any other change of color. Maybe one light green, lighter green. I think these might be enough colors. So if I need more, I'll get them. So let's just put these up here, lay those down. And uh, yeah. All right. So let me pull prompts for you guys while you're here. Then we'll start painting and making a little, we're going to make a scene. I can't find the cap. <laughs> I can't find this cap. It went, oh, there it is on the floor. All right. <clears throat> 
<coughs> All right, Kitty Jen wants one set. Y'all ready? If y'all miss it, y'all can just go back and um, y'all can go back and look. We're at uh, uh, how far are we in? A minute and twenty seconds. Uh, I mean, an hour and twenty minutes. All right, so here we go. All right, Kitty Jen, I see you there. So here's your three. <clears throat> Hang on, let me get a sip of water again. Okay. All right, so Kitty Jen, here's your three. Tree bark, apple, and I can move, I can zoom in when I start gluing and stuff here. So let's go ahead and move in one. Okay, Kitty Jen, tree bark, apple, and basket. Okay, so there's Kitty Jen. My Sharpie's not working now because it took the cap off. Right, let's just get another one. Let's get another one. Uh, Miriam, you want some too? Okay, Miriam. All right, so Kitty Jen, tree bark apple basket. Okay, next we have Terry who wants two sets. <clears throat> Um, we're not, well, that's, I was going to say we don't want to do a blank, but it's, they were stuck together. B, beard, and snail. And, and if y'all want something different, just tell me which ones you don't want. I'll give you new ones. This is not the zine swap where we don't change things. This is just for y'all to just do. If you don't want that, you know, especially like Terry's done a hundred of them. Well, not literally a hundred, but she's done a lot. She may not want the same one twice. So I have been putting them in a bag so we don't get the same ones again. Because I have about 300 of these. Okay, daffodil, trees, and koi. There's your second set, Terry. Terry, is there any of those that you want swapped out? Mark, I pulled three prompts. And you can make a comic, you can make a poem, you can make a piece of art, you can do whatever you want with those three prompts. We were just, we're, we're finished, it's too late to join now in the zine swap, but uh, we had a zine swap and uh, you got three prompts and you made a zine from it and send it into Janet. I pull the prompts, you send them into Janet, but they have to be to her by the 1st of October. So it's too late to join that. But this is just for you to do whatever you want with it. Okay, so let's see. Um, you want three sets, Kitty Jen. Okay, then I'll give you some more here in a minute. Okay, so there's Terry's. All right, so you got your first set, uh, Jen. Here's your second set. Peony, any veggie, and a bell pepper. Okay, so there's... That's set two. Set three, meerkat, flowers, and any city. All right, how are those? Are those good for you? You want you want three prompts, Mark? And you don't have to post them if you if you don't if you try it and you don't like it, something you don't like what it turns out, just don't post it. But if you do post it on IG and you want me to show it. On the next stream, you have to tag me and, and let me know because otherwise it gets lost in the shuffle, especially over the weekend. You know, when I get way, way so many messages and, and tags and stuff. So you need to make sure you let me know. Tracy, Tracy Susan Mixed Media. Let me write you down, Tracy. I don't think I know you. Tracy, so I can make sure and go look at your uh, YouTube channel. I said, I don't think I've met you. All right. I will pull you three as well. Okay. I'm right, writing it over here. Three prompts. Okay. All right. So, um, Kitty Jen, are those good? Okay. Next, Terry got her to Princess Nicole wants a set. Y'all, y'all keep me keep me posted now because I might miss some. Miriam, I'll get you you here. I got, I got Princess Nicole next. Any transportation, amused, amused, like you're, you know, amused, smiling, happy, amused, and amazed. Now, that may be too much <laughs> for one thing, but it's up to you. So, Princess Nicole, any transportation, amused, and amazed. Do you want those or do you want something different? Uh, Miriam sent me messenger last. Okay. All right. Let me wait a minute. Let me do this first, Miriam. Um, 
yes, for some reason, Miriam and I cannot connect on IG. I don't know what the deal is, but I don't know. <laughs> she, uh, she, she's not there on my IG. Uh, let's see. Um, those are good. Okay, so there's those. All right, next, Icy. Icy, here's your three. Aloof. Exhausted. These somehow, um, these might have got together. I shuffle them up all the time. And locust, aloof, exhausted, and locust. I see. Do you want those or, or something else? Let me know. Um, hi, Rebecca Jean. All right. So, I see. Let me know if, if you want those or something different. Miriam, here's yours. Miriam, any bird, Vikings. And Desert World. Same thing. All right. So these are Ices. Miriam. Okay. Let me know. I don't want to get too far ahead. Those are good. Okay. All right. Miriam, are those good for you? Any bird, Vikings, and Desert World. And then we'll pull for Tracy Susan. <clears throat> okay. Are those good? Are those good for you, Miriam? I think she said okay. I'm, I think she means these are okay. All right. Next is Tracy Susan Mixed Media. Okay, Tracy Susan, you got Degas, the 1920s, and Anticipation. And again, let me know if those are good for you. These are okay for, for Miriam, okay? Here's yours, um, Susan, Tracy Susan, okay? And I don't keep who's done what, you know, I, I do for the zine swap. But for just these, I don't, so don't come back and say, what were my three again? Because I don't know. They're all going in the bag. You'll have to go back and watch the video. If you don't write them down. Okay, so let's see. Can I, well, which one do you not want? Just tell me which one you don't want, and I'll pick, pick another one for you. <clears throat> or do you just want three total new ones, Tracy? Mm -hmm. Now let me know. I want to get I want to get my piece done here today, <laughs> and this is kind of time consuming. I don't want to run out of time. Do you want three complete new ones, Tracy? All right, let me, while you're trying to type, let me go over here and look at Miriam's. Where is she posting me at? Um, Miriam, is it in Messenger? No. Where are you texting me, Miriam? Is it Messenger? Oh, there it is. It is Messenger. Okay, Tracy said yes to all, you want new, all new ones. Okay, so let's move those off. Okay, so Tracy, here's three new ones. Day, Otter, and Monster. There you go. Okay. No, I did not. Mark, I didn't know you wanted any. Okay. So Mark wants three. All right. So there are Tracy, Susan, Mix Me, and I'll make a note to go find your channel later just to say hi. Mark. Okay. <clears throat> hi, Devin. Okay, all new for Tracy. There we go. Three new ones for Tracy. Day, Otter, and Monster. Mark, here's your three. Map, Beetle, and Meditate. How are those for you? Hi, Christine G. Anybody else? Thank you, Pacola. Yeah, I'm trying to keep up. I'm trying to everybody keep up with everybody. All right, now, um, let me, I'll look at your thing here in a minute, Miriam. Let me get done with the prompts. Hi, Denise. Prompts, Tula. B wait, uh, Miriam, you mean that you posted to me? All right, wait, Miriam, I haven't got over there yet. Let me, let me finish this and I'll get over to the message. Hang on. I want to make sure everybody's got what they want before I take them off. All right, Mark, are those good for you? Matt, Beetle, and Meditate. New, all new? 
Mark, you'll have to be specific because I don't know if you say new, if you mean you want one new one or all three. Do you want all new, Mark? I think I'm going to have to figure out a new way to do our prompt things. I mean, we're going to have to have a scheduled thing to do this in, either at the very beginning or at the very end. Maybe at the very beginning and you have to be here or either that at the very end. What would work for you guys to do um, or just have one time in the middle? What's going to work? Because I, I I mean, I'm, I'm just going to be honest with you guys. It's getting frustrating for me. I love doing this, but I can't do it five times during the stream. So we're going to have to schedule it. It's either going to have to be the beginning, middle, or end. And y'all can tell me. Beginning, middle, and end of when we're going to do the prompts. Because I love doing the prompts. I love seeing your prompts. But I can't do it all just this during my show. Good idea, Terry. I think it's a good idea, too. All right. So Mark wants all new ones. Okay. So Mark, here we go. Duck, necklace, and unicorn. <laughs> Mark. <laughs> Mark is our eternity. <laughs> Duck, necklace, and unicorn. I'm sure you're going to like those. Right, Mark? Please tell me you're going to like those. Um, do it first and last and don't interrupt the stream. Okay, maybe that would be good. Yeah, Janet's saying doing the first and the last and don't interrupt the stream. Yeah, <laughs> thanks, Christopher. Because really, I mean, it's it frustrates me to have to stop everything to find you guys and pull prompts. I don't mind that, you know, it's just, it's it's getting too convoluted. You know what I mean? So, yeah, we're going to have to start doing it at the first First 20 minutes and the last 20 minutes. I'm going to make a note of that. <laughs> Mark, are those good for you? Let me know. Okay, first prompts are going to be first 20 minutes and last 20 minutes. That way I don't have to stop in the middle of my project. Okay, <laughs> I thought you'd like those, Mark. Okay, anybody else want prompts right now? Let me know, Janet, how do I tag her? Uh, you have to put it hashtag or uh, at me in Instagram. You have to put at me, you know, at Dee Dee Willingham or at Inky Well. Inky Well, I-N-K-I-W-E-L-L. -L -L. Okay, put that in your, where, where, where you're putting the name of the prompts. Like you have, you know, Mark had unicorn necklace. Whatever you put your prompts and then you put at Inky Well I N K I W E L L. Okay, in the same com in the comment section, and then it will tag me. Okay, so I will know that I've got that. Otherwise, you know, uh, I if y'all could see how many hundreds of of messages and. Uh, what you call it that I get every day. I had to stop doing uh, um, Instagram and Facebook scrolling through everything because I literally have hundreds. So, uh, during stream, people can request during stream if they can't stay. Yes, yeah. See, I, then I have that means I have to keep up with that though. I can't do that, Christopher. I can't keep up with that during the stream. I have to stop and write it down and who wants what. So they're just going to have to, yeah, I can't do it in the middle anymore. It's just getting to be too much. So I'm going to do it. This is going to be my new prompt rule. First 20 minutes, last 20 minutes. Or f maybe 15 minutes. <laughs> we'll see. All right. Now I'm back over at Miriam on Instagram. I mean, on messages. And the only reason I'm letting... Miriam message me hers is because we have some kind of weird thing going on with Instagram between she and I that we can't connect for whatever reason. We're not blocking. We're not who knows. But there's a there's some kind of thing with Instagram where Miriam and Israel and me here can't connect on Instagram. So that's the only reason I let her message me. Otherwise, guys, you have to put it on Instagram because I can't be looking at Facebook messenger messages emails. I just can't do it. It's way too much for me to do that. Okay. Um, okay. So here's Miriam. She did. And I, I think she said what her prompts were, but they're already scrolled off the screen. Okay. So let's see. 
do you mind if I go around your garden and the skeleton's going, of course I don't mind. It's not mine anyway. <laughs> did you do this digitally, Miriam? It looks digi and that's very cool. I like the way you did that if that's digi. It looks like maybe, I'm going to guess, tulips, skeleton, and bee. Is that right? <laughs> or maybe vest? Maybe vest, Miriam? <laughs> oh, here she goes. Prompts for bones, tulip, and insect. Okay, and then she's got a second one here too. Okay, and then the second one is, she wrote it down here. Here, let me click on her. Wind, piano, and rocket ship. Okay, I like this one too. Are they digi? Digital. Okay, Miriam, these are cool. Okay, so she's got so bad. I wonder what she was thinking. She's got on headphones. Oh my gosh. She's got on headphones trying to play the piano. Oh, she's thinking about the rocket ship. Oh, that's cute, Miriam. I like that. I like that a lot, Miriam. <laughs> I like that a lot. That's really good. And so give out the prompts at the beginning and show completed ones at the end. Yeah, I, I, maybe, or, you know, I think I'd rather show the, the completed ones at the beginning. Because sometimes I run out of time at the end. So I think if I, I the first, the first 20 minutes, it's good because I'd show other things on IG, show completed at the beginning. That's, I think that'll work better. Okay. Because nobody's going to complete one during the stream. So what do y'all think? The first 20 minutes, I show the completed and you can get a prompt. Draw for prompts. Draw for prompts. I'll rewrite this, but. Draw for prompts on the first 20 minutes and show the completed. And the last 15 to 20 minutes, last 15 to 20 minutes, we will um, draw more. Okay. All right. Let's see. Uh, pick three. Okay. Wait a minute. Christopher says something I missed. Let me go back. Let me scroll. We've got to get this situated. Maybe pull three sets of three a day and anyone that wants to do them can. Well, we could do that. Just everybody gets the same ones. Or do y'all like having different ones? Pull pull one set of three and every... See, here's the thing, Christopher, of that. People don't like some of them. <laughs> so I don't know, you know. Uh, I don't want to stop doing it. But if it gets to be too much for me, I will just stop doing the prompts. So what do y'all, you know, do y'all want to still have different sets? Or just pick from three? What's which one's a good plan, Janet? Which plan? We've we've got 10 plans going now. <laughs> I'll have to talk to Janet later. Um well, see, that's why I'm thinking that if we pull them at the beginning and at the end. So if you're here at the beginning or at the end, then you can you can pull them. Mods sometimes leave too. I can't make the mods stay when they can't, you know. So some, you save some time. Yeah, it would save me some time if I did just three. It would, Christopher, for sure. Uh, t -t 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 All right. I like Christopher's idea, two to choose from. Yeah, maybe two to choose from. See, so y'all making it way too complicated. Now, uh, Miriam's talking about a list of nine. And no, uh, that's going to get too much. We're going to do it simple. It's got to be simple or ain't going to get done. Okay. So I like the different ones, but it's what's best for you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Nicole. All right. Well, we got, I think we pulled everybody for today. We're not pulling any more prompts today. We're done for the day. Okay. <laughs> Let's let's stop for the day. Um, okay, let me throw these back up in the bucket, in the bag or in the bag rather. Oh, I just dropped them. Okay, we'll do that. We'll do it later. <laughs> throw them all over there for now. Okay, let's get back to the project. <laughs> I try to make some fun things for you guys, but I can't overcomplicate it either. Otherwise, we're not doing anything else, you know. All right. Janet and I'll talk about it later. Okay, so I'm going to move these off here. 
and I'm going to start with just painting the background black. And then I will glue these down and blend in the paint. Okay, so let's start with that. Ugh. Oh, I'm so frustrated now. <laughs> I don't like to be frustrated on my streams. <clears throat> All right, so let's see. Don't email me, people. Do not email me your advice. I don't. I don't want. I don't want it. I got enough advice. All right, so let's get a big brush. Let me wet my brush. And uh, you always want to wet your brush before you um, dip it in acrylic paint because it just helps. I'm trying, Janet. I'm trying. Oh my gosh, how's your company? Oh, you said it was. They were still asleep earlier. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and just paint this background. <clears throat> I'm trying not to go off the edge. It's got a little bit of a lip on it, so as long as I just be careful on the edges, it won't uh, it won't get on the desk. Not that that matters. There's paint on the desk anyway, but. <clears throat> So yeah, I'm really excited about doing these doors, doors and windows. <clears throat> oh, let's see. Thank you, Christopher. I am preaching it. That's true. Yes, I do like making my pretty pictures. <laughs> I do. Uh, I just try to make some extra fun for you guys in between. That's why I do giveaways too, you know. All right, we're going to paint this, dry this, and then going to glue this down and then start working in some dimensional things and whatever else we feel like. Little flowers, mushrooms, forest things, right? But just make sure, remember, on the back of this board are the hangers. And you want to make sure that your hangers are at the top. See that? Well, they're there. They there's one there and there's one that you want to make sure they're at the top. Otherwise, you're going to make your piece and your hangers will be on the bottom. So you want to make sure that the hangers are going the right way. Before you start uh, gluing, you know, gluing your things down. <laughs> yeah, purdy. Purdy. All right. And, it, and I did send out all my happy mail yesterday from Monday. And um, yeah, well, last week's sent out last week. So, all right, there we go. But I did go to the post office. I actually had to go to the post office twice yesterday. So I went to the post office twice. All right, there we go. Oh, and Tori's not here. Oh my gosh, I got to tell this post office story. Um, let me clean my brush. Well, first off, what I do is I have a lot of excess paint on here. So what I'll do is I'll take a tissue or paper towels, ideally, but uh, and, and pull off the excess paint before I put this in the water. And I'll put that in the water to clean. And now let me get a couple baby wipes. Oh my gosh, this was, so a, I don't know, maybe a month or two months ago. And I have to, um, uh, it is recent, so I didn't open it back up. But it might have been, and I'm hoping, Janet, um, Tori had participated in the stamp swap, you know, where we did the stamped images. She never got hers in Ireland. I don't remember when that prompt, when the um, stamp swap was. But I got a return envelope in my P.O. box from April, April, May, June, July, August, except six months, five and a half to six months, I got a return from Ireland. And my post office lady said, well, I don't know. She said she, she reweighed it. She goes, well, I think since then the postage has gone up six cents. So she put it, she added another six cents or nine cents, whatever it was to the same envelope. So that envelope, which, and, and just so happened that I had another envelope for Tori. So I had her address right there in front of me. So I had her exact address and we looked and I had the, I had the right address, but it said it was undeliverable to the wrong address. Well, it's the same address that she gets all her other mail and she gets a lot of the other mail from me. And I had her address in an envelope 
And uh, so we checked it and it's all right. So we resent that. So I'm thinking I didn't open it. I didn't reopen it and look, I just resent. And I'm hoping it was her stamp set. Six months, people, from April it took for it to go from here to Ireland and back again. Where's that been sitting all this time? You know? So, Tori, if you watch this later, hopefully you will get your stamps from Stamp Set Swap from, was it April? Thank you, Debbie. I don't need a stickers. <laughs> thank you, Debbie, so much. And you have stuff go uh, went out yesterday, too. So, thank you so much, Debbie. I appreciate that. And uh, Debbie's always real good about, like, commenting. A lot of people don't comment on, our, on, on my videos because we all talk live, right? So we don't get a lot of comments in the comment section. But I do appreciate those thumbs up. So thank you, guys. Thank you, Debbie. But, yeah, six months. <laughs> anyway, all right, let me go ahead and dry this. with my, Let me plug in my heat gun because I don't leave it plugged in. Let's dry this, and then we'll start gluing. Hi, CB. That happens again. Please don't send. Oh, there's Tori. No, Tori, because it, it, I'm not going to not send people mail. It's not your fault, you know. And hi, Tori, by the way. It's not your fault. I'm hoping. It didn't cost me again. She, well, you know, she even, I think, ate the six cents, the postage lady. Uh, but uh, just because the postage has, you know, gone up since April. So anyway, um, yeah. I'm not going to not send mail because the post office sucks. So anyway, hopefully you'll get it this time, Tori. And I hope it's the stamp set. Your stamp sets, because I, like I said, I didn't reopen it. So hopefully that's what um, that's what it is. And you'll be surprised from April. All right, I'm going to move this off of here so I don't blow all this around and come over here and dry it. Almost, guys. Don't get the edges. Okay, I think I got pretty well dry. All right. You're welcome, Tori. Like I said, I hope it's your stamp set that you didn't, you know, didn't get there. Okay, now I want to get some of uh, matte medium. So let me get another little something tray here. Let's get another. Here, let's get this little one here. Get out some matte medium. Although I really don't. Well, maybe. Yeah, I think I will do the matte. No, because I want to keep it shiny. So I think I'll just do the glue this time because they're going to be pop dotted up. All right, so I am going to go ahead and let's get out my glue. Here, let's move this to the side. It's flashing out my camera. All right, so let's go ahead and just get some glue. Let's start with this and this. Now, this has to go on there, too. Okay, so let's go ahead and just put the glue down on all of these. <clears throat> so. And I will smooth the glue out. Smooth it out so we don't have lumps and bumps. I don't want to do that door. Do I do it? No, I don't have a door. I have an open door on the no. Okay. Checking for my doors <laughs> to make sure my doors don't get glued shut. Okay, so I'm going to start with, this one's going to go behind, so these two here. This one and this one. So I have to think backwards. 
so that they're reversed, you know. Move that up a minute. All right, so I'm not going to kind of really stick them yet. I'm just going to kind of lay it there just so I can kind of get them sort of in place. So go here. <clears throat> And again, if y'all do something like this, take your time. You know, I do try to get it as much done possible. I want this one down a little bit. So I'm going to move this down and cut this off. Okay. All right. So let me get my card here and make sure I get all the wrinkles out. Pulled it off. There we go. And I'm going to blend everything in with paint, but I just want to make sure it's glued down really well. No air bubbles, wrinkles, best we can anyway. Ideally matte medium, but I don't want to matte it. You know, I don't want to make it matte. I want to keep it shiny. So that's why I'm not using the matte medium. But I am going to put some paint on it. So I don't know that really matters. <laughs> I don't know if this really does. All right, let me cut this off here. And of course, I can always put some varnish on it if I want to, which I might. We'll see. We'll see what it looks like when it's done. And it will be behind glass. So the glass is going to make it shiny too. All right, so let's see. Now, before I put this on, which will be pop dotted up, and where's uh, this door? Here, this one. I want to paint these, um, this one, do I need to paint that? Maybe a dark blue. I think I need a dark, I need my darker blue. My, uh, not Prussian blue, who needs the blue I want? This blue. No, it's not Prussian blue, what's the blue I want? Deep Midnight, that's the blue I want, Deep Midnight. Mm. All right, so I'm going to kind of lay these out. So I think I'll do the deep midnight on the backs of the doors. Let's see. Do we, do I, am I zoomed in? I think I'm zoomed in enough. I'm good. <clears throat> College book. I wish I saw, yes, I know. One-sided, I know, because you like both sides. I do too. Okay, so let me put out some more i got the black there and some of the blue and uh i'm gonna do some white stars here in a minute so i'll go ahead and just put a little bit in my bucket of stars thing there let's just let's just start with that these two colors i'm trying to keep this all in the frame so you can see everything going on but it's because of the length of it, it's a little tricky to do all right let's see let's get another small brush uh, this one's and eh, this one might work. Let me get it wet. All right, <clears throat> all right. Excuse the squeaky chair. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and do a little of the this color here, and I'm going to kind of try to match that. And I'll blend it with my finger, and then I'll put some stars in there too. This won't show much because the door is going to be just barely open like that. You know, you'll just see a little tiny bit of the inside. But if you can peek inside, I want it to be, um, I don't want it to be, I want it to be dark. All right, let me get a piece of paper here. Behind there. So I hope y'all are going to do something creative this week. I have multiple projects on the go. I was happy to get my Barbie photography done yesterday for Janet Nash uh, doll. I right, see so that might wrinkle a little because there's not. An, I have to. I might have to put another coat on there to keep it keep it kind of uh, not so floppy. Oh, there's a little. There we go. So we'll just wait and see what happens with that. We'll leave that there for a minute. All right. Now I'm going to go back up in here. 
just any place that I want to blend. And I'll throw some stars in there too. Go around the trees. Might put some jewels, might put some, uh, you know, other things. You know, we got all kinds of things we can dimensionalize this with. But right now I'm trying to just kind of blend this in here. I'm going to throw a bucket of stars on it so any stars we're losing will get back. You see how it kind of blends in? And there's a couple of lines in there I don't really care for. We're going to kind of maybe blend those out just a little right there. And just kind of keep blending. I can add some more clouds if I want. And blend with your finger. That makes it soft. Okay. Needs a little less lines again right there. <clears throat> uh, t -t 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 -t. Thanks, guys. I hope it'll turn. Well, we'll see how it turns out. Now, again, on here, I'm going to want the blue and the black on the inside of this door. This one's going to be pop dotted up. So that's why it's got the cardstock on it to, you know, give it some sturdiness. I didn't get quite glue right there. Let me glue that down. Okay. Just a little dab of glue there. Okay. Same thing for this one. I'm going to do on the inside, even though it probably won't even show. I'm just not going to take a chance that you can see the white underneath. <clears throat> I could go around the edges here, too. Hang on. Let's cut that right there. I'll blend this in better when I decide exactly where it's going to go. But I'm going to do the edges so that no white cardstock shows. Okay, now I'll leave that to the side. Put this up here because i got to work on the hair. All right, so now I'm going to go back into my blue and my black. And I'm going to get all this blended. I'm going to put stars up here. But in the meantime, I want all this to be blended in. Even though this is going to be covered up. This line right there is going to be covered with this door. I'm just going to make sure. I'm not looking at chat for a second, guys. I want to get this based in, and then I'll look at chat. <clears throat> okay. Just going to kind of go around here. I just want the blue, this shade of blue, to kind of be in here. This is going to be covered up, too. But let's just make sure <laughs> if anything's going to show. See, this tree is going to be over it. But just in case anything, you can peek around the corner of the edge. All right, so there we go. That's kind of what I want as the background. Now I'm going to put some stars. It's got a little bit of a glare right there. I don't know. It's because of the black. Let's turn the brightness down. There we go. All right, so now let's set this aside for a minute. And let me dry this. So I'm going to move it off the thing here a minute. Okay, now let me get my bucket of stars. Not going to need that. And I'm going to spritz in some water. And get my floppy brush. Let me find one. I use these uh, calligraphy floppy brushes here for um, making watering down the white paint for stars. Let's see if that's enough. Might need a little bit more water. 
I want it pretty. That's the only time I really water down my paint is to do stars or sometimes clouds. I might do a little bit of cloud. I don't know that really needs white. I don't know. We'll see. All right. So now I'm going to tap this off and cover it with my hand because I'm going to tap it a lot. Get a lot of the excess off. <clears throat> Even more. There we go. I don't know how much of this is going to show. A lot of it's going to be covered up, but I'll just make sure it's all. And I'll dry this and I'll put in some nebula or some background, some maybe a shooting star too. And the more I'm tapping, the smaller and smaller the stars are getting. And I think I'm going to do, I'm going to do on the inside of the doors. So if you look, it's like a doorway to the stars. All right, just a tiny bit more on here. Same thing from the inside here. Okay. So this will blend in the forest and the sky. All right, so that'll take a minute to dry, and I'll hit it with the heat. Oh, wait, I'll do this one here, too. Tiny, just a tad. One little bit better. There we go. All right. <clears throat> okay. Clean that brush. Dry this. Let me dry everything. Okay, just give me a minute. I'll reach out while I'm drying. Janet's getting LOLs. No telling what she's saying. And we can always go in here and do more details. You know, whatever. You know, paint in. I say hi to Susan. I know I'm probably missing people. Thanks everybody for being here. It's Colleen. I'm so hoping, Tori, that the, uh, what do you call it, that that envelope is your stamp set. That would just really be awesome. Okay, let me get my pencils. Pencils. <laughs> uh, I'm going to probably get some of this mossy green in here, too. Let me just put a little bit out here on there. Once I get the trees all on there, I'm going to want a little bit of that, I think. All right. Okay. Um, let's see. I want my, uh, what do you call it, slate blue. And again, let me just kind of lay down where these are going to be, sort of, kind of, kind of, sort of. And then there's going to be things in front here. So, oh, I can see right there that's going to need some. Let me just put some black on my finger here and get along the edge. Um, because I can see a little bit of that white cardstock, which I don't want to do. I want all that to be gone. You can ink it too with ink. I'm just going to go ahead and use my finger here with the paint that's sitting right here in front of me. And thanks lurkers and everybody here. Excuse my frustration today. <laughs> it happens. You get it happens. You got things going on and yeah. You know. All right, there we go. Nope, oh, let's do a little bit on this side. All right. I 
think I got the door. So this is going to be somewhere right in there. Let me check all the edges here. A little bit right there. It's going to go there and see the door is going to be open. Oh, got to get inside the door there. Okay, and then this one looks good. All right, so now I decide where I'm going to put that. So I'm going to want some... Um, see right there that line? Oh! <laughs> That line right there, that's because it was a cut edge, not a torn edge. So I'm going to go back in there and kind of get rid of that pencil because I don't want a harsh line right there. See it? See? Can y'all see that line? So you're going to have to kind of work that in. That's why I say to tear. When I say to tear the edge rather than cut the edge, that is why. You'll see a sharp edge. Now, I just didn't suspect that I'd see much because it was going to be so covered up, but a little bit. All right, I'm going to put some stars back in. Here it is. Not much. Just a little. Nope, it's a little much. Okay, don't want quite that much. There we go, that's better. Okay. I'm dry. There's one. Here we go. And I'm thinking I might want that to be dark too. Maybe. Let's pop it up. It might be okay. Or maybe a little brown and white. <laughs> Let's see. It's a little bright. I don't want it quite that bright. Maybe a little tan color. So let me clean this brush. And a little bit of white. Just knock it back a little bit. Maybe a little green, a little more white. I just want a little bit, yeah, that's good. Like a gray, gray green color. So it's not stark white, just like some tap and some little leaves. So it's not bright. Okay. Maybe a little more brown. A couple more little little uh, branches swirling in there you can add whatever you want we're gonna add some flowers or whatever all right so kind of like that this one's not too bad a little bit a couple places there that are a little bright <clears throat> um hi julie topaz happy wonderful wednesday to you too all right so I was going to do some more nebulization, but I think we're probably pretty good as far as the stars and stuff go. I might do a couple little, um, like, some circles here and there. Just to give them a little planetary look. And you really don't, you know, probably notice this, uh, but I do. All right. <clears throat> And then I can add, I can add, after I get everything done, I can go in there and add um, some star shines. Like here, like, well, I'll do one right there just to show you. Like here. Did I pick the one that, this is a new one. Hang on. All right, didn't pick the new one. Let's just go with this. Okay. So what I'm saying is I can make the, well, I want to make sure it's straight. So like that. Maybe just a couple of them could have a little bit more. Oh, just a little bit. Oh, that's too much. Just a little bit. Too much. 
just to have that the main one. Probably a tiny one back in here somewhere. Right in here. And then when that dries, I can go back around it with a little bit of white pencil to give it like a little glow around it. <clears throat> All right, so this one. Let's straighten that out because this one does. This one's not on cardstock, but I did paint it, so it's on the inside there. If you peek in, you would see a little bit of stars. All right, so now we're going to pop dot these. Let me get some pop dots. In one of my Angie bowls. Angie, I don't know, she's probably not here, but I got my little pop dots. And uh, you can also use, like I have some foam core cut down, which might just be just as good because it'll be black so they don't show. So we can just take some of these little pieces of foam core. You don't have to have official pop dots. You can just use, uh, but make sure you do use, uh, don't use glue sticks to do this part because it, it won't, uh, that probably won't hold up on the foam core pieces. So let's see, how much of that door do I want open? So I want it about there. All right, so you can see where the door is going to show. This is not going to show. So I'm going to get my, what am I doing? Oh, here. My glue's not in my thing here. So let me shake it down. And I'm going to put some glue, these little things here, little foam. And because they're black on the edge, if any, if you can peek inside there, it will be, you won't see it'll be black. Let me move that down a little. So I'm just going to kind of take a minute to the next one uh, we're going to keep at wait we haven't added anything really dimensional yet guys i got my mushrooms over here i got some flowers i got some cool little butterflies i got stuff i got stuff people <laughs> okay <Pacola. laughs> so but i am trying to kind of make sure this does get attached you know these get glued down Okay, set that there a second. All right, let's see. Um, anybody else I miss coming in? And you can pop this up quite a bit because, like I said, I've got an inch of space or so, a little less than an inch in the, in the uh, shadow box. And again, the shadow boxes are on sale at Hobby Lobby this week, 50% off. So if you're thinking about getting one, now's the week to get it. It's about every every third or fourth week, you, they'll be on sale again. So you can always, you know, let's see if that's popped up enough. I think, I think that might be. Okay, because I want the door just a little bit. See, I can look inside there and I can see, see the uh, inside of the door. All right, so now I'm going to put glue on here. Didn't y'all ever make dioramas when you were kids? Let me just take a minute. to. I wanted to at least adhere. I do want my door to be kind of straight up and down. Not cr let me let me look at it. <laughs> it's straight up and down. <laughs> it looks not like it's not because of the door being opened. But I want to kind of turn that a little. It's kind of molded a little. Like that just so you can see that it's open. And I might have something. You know, I got all those other books. I can put little creatures. You know, I can put all kinds of little things in there. You know, and there's a shine right there, but um, 
Oh, well, I'll tilt it in a minute. Okay, so we got this one's already glued down. Now we got to do this one. Now I think what I'm going to do on the tops of these trees, I'm going to kind of, I might fussy cut a little bit more around here. Let's, let me look at it a minute. <clears throat> I think I want this to, and I'll go ahead and put some black wherever I'm cutting. Just so it's not flat. You know what I mean? So like the tree might have some waves in it like this. Maybe a little less right there on that branch. The branch goes up. Then maybe this one here is a little bit. And then maybe some of these right in here. Just kind of so it's not flat. Didn't, didn't y'all ever do dioramas when you were in school? All right, let's go on this side here. Let's cut a little in there. In there. And you probably won't even notice any of this, but I know. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and get my black paint again. And any place I just cut where I can see the white edge, I'm going to go ahead and... Get that covered. I'm going to do the inside of the door. Nothing down there. Okay. And you remember make, helping your kids make them? <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to get some pop foam. Let's get some foam pieces. Probably four or five will do. I just have some cut down. And then I save my pop dots like these for the tinier things, like the mushrooms that we got somewhere here. Here they are, <laughs> the little mushrooms that I have to cut out still. All right, so let's go ahead and glue these down. Don't forget, Christopher comes on at 2. Y'all like to see somebody with comic um, sequential artist who has, I think, I forget how many. I'm going to say 30-something. It's probably 60-something. How many books Christopher has <laughs> published. Um, amazing artist. And he's been into mixed media and even jelly plating. So... Y'all can recommend some jelly. If y'all have favorite uh, jelly platers, go ahead and put their names in the chat right now. And uh, if anybody, not just Christopher, but anybody that wants jelly plate uh, expertise and people that like Devin. Devin, well, I don't know how much Devin's doing now, but she does have some videos out there. Let me click on her here. Um, here she is. Devin has done a lot of jelly plating. So if you go watch her videos and anybody else that um, y'all know who does jelly plating that you could, I mean, I do a minimal, you know, I do a little bit, but I don't do the um, transfers and the leaves and the plants. And the, there's a lot of tricky stuff you can do with jelly plating that I really have tried maybe once or twice. Oh, and speaking of, if we have time, Janet and I were talking, and she sh talked about it on her show, too, about making decals. If we have time, when I get done with this, decals from stickers. I'm going to show how we used to make decals all the time with, um, what do you call it, uh, fashion magazines. But I'm going to show you how to do it with stickers if we have time. I'll make the time. I'll make the time. We have an hour. All right, so... <clears throat> Thank you, Janet. Janet's put a link to Devin. Okay. We can move it over just a little. Now, I don't want it 
you don't want it off the edge because you, this edge has to fit inside that frame. So if I got this too low or too high, it's going to interfere with putting it in the box, right? So don't have anything overlaying. You know, I've left just a, you know, maybe a sixteenth of an inch down here and at the top, just enough so it'll still fit in the frame. Otherwise, I'll have to pull it out and, you know, trim it down. <laughs> Otherwise, it won't go in the frame. Okay, so we got our little door there. Kind of adjust that. All right, so can you all see the dimension of it there? And you don't see any white because I put any black um, edging there. And then there we go with this door, this door here. I want them, I want them almost closed, though. This one doesn't have card, uh, card stock on it because I glued it flat and I didn't think I needed it, but I probably should have put some on there. Okay, so now we got our doors. Now, I did have a window, too, that we thought about. Because this is going to be covered. This is going to have mushrooms and stuff in here, too. All right. So let's see here. What else do I have to cut these little mushrooms out? Let me move some of my paint here. I'm going to have to take a quick break, guys. Let me do a BRB. Let's put this brush in the water. Let's move the pencils. Move the paint. And I might need some of this green. I might put a little bit more green down in here. All right. Clean up some areas. All right. Let me do, I'll be right back. I'm, I'm not going to put the BRB down there. Y'all know. I'll be right back. my craft scrubby out to get most of this off my hands but not the bulk of it off okay let's see where are we all right it's looking pretty good so far don't y'all think all right let me cut out these little mushroom areas here and again, I'll put some black along the edge. And, and this is pieces of the um, out of those books glued to cardstock so that when I pop dot it up, they're not floppy. But it will take me a minute to cut, or although I can paint like some of the tight areas in there, I could put black paint in there so I don't have to cut every little tiny leaf. I can just paint in there and still keep the detail. But I do want these three mushrooms. And the, I mean, if I really took my time, I'd get out some of my other poor toast Kate Curry books that have, you know, mushrooms and other things. So I'm going to do as much of this, but I might end up going back and even adding more later. So we'll see. But I'm going to try to finish as much as I can today. All right. So I'm just going to go around. I don't want all those leaves. Let's just pull that off there. <clears throat> all right, so now I'll show you what I mean. All right, so let's go around a little bit there. All right, so instead of trying to get right in the there, now I could, and, you know, knowing me normally, I probably would have, but I want to show you all how to do that um, where you can get inside there. So just get a small little brush. Let's get a small brush. And what I'm going to do is get my black paint, and I'll paint. Let me just lay it here. I'll paint in there the little areas that are going to be, I want black because then that won't show when I put it on the black background. Now, if you did, you know, depending on the color of your background, you have, you want to match it, but it's just mostly black. I could do some black. I could do a little bit of green. Let's just go along that edge there. I want that edge done. Oops. 
just to show you that you don't have to cut every little tiny leaf. You can go in there and paint in there. Okay. Now I do want to go ahead and get some, I'll get some paint on my brush and go along the edges a little bit because I don't want that white edge of the cardstock to show. You could ink it too. You know, if you like, if you're an inker, you know, I could have got out the ink and done the same thing. Just as long as the, the white cardstock isn't glaringly showing. Okay, let's see. That looks like a famous face. Thank you all for Jim Henson film. Did you see my book on Monday, Christopher? Did you see the book I showed on Monday? All right, so let's see. Let me get a little bit straight. Whoop. Okay, I got to set it down. I'm going to set it down here. I'm trying to paint in the air. There we go. All right, I could also put a little bit of blue if I wanted to, or a couple of, I might go back in with a couple stars depending off it shows or it needs it. Okay, so there's one. Let me just set it there for a minute. <clears throat> Hi, Jasper. Rain Girl. Yeah, it's out, uh, out of the books, the door book and the window book. I did a flip through of them earlier. So, and I want to show y'all also the sticker thing that Janet told y'all about on her show. She didn't have time to do one. She described it fairly well, though. And y'all probably done it before with fashion magazines. So you can uh, make your stickers into decals. It only takes a minute. So I'll show you one of those here after I get this done. <clears throat> All right, so I'm just going to cut around I don't have to cut every little leaf every little every little thing and cut out keep what you want take as much time as you want to cut each thing okay again I'm gonna take my paintbrush and I'm just gonna kind of go around the edges here because this is on cardstock <clears throat> And this probably is wouldn't show, but especially when it's in the frame and you're not going to be able to tilt it like we can this full board, you know, you won't be able to see it, but just to make sure. And if you, you know, I've had to, and all of them, actually, I've had to put together, put in the glass, take it out, look at it, take it out again, <laughs> you know. So don't be afraid that you're going to have to, oh, I already put it in the glass. Well, you can take it back out. You can take it back out. Let's go ahead and go around the edge here. And then I'm going to get out some of my other dimensional items, too. You know, all that stuff we get at Hobby Lobby on clearance and sales and, you know, you know all the stuff. <laughs> well, that's why we buy the stuff for stuff, occasions like this. All right, let me go ahead and get around. Oops. And turn the piece rather than trying to move your arm with the scissors. If you turn the piece you're cutting, you'll get a better, more accurate cut. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and go around the edge here. So again, these are Kate Curry and Poor Toast on Amazon. They're books, and there's tons of them. These aren't the only two I have. I've shown them over, you know, and the, the jar one and just different ones. And now some are shiny, some are matte. So, you know, be aware of what ones you're getting. Okay, I got a little paint there. Oh, well. <laughs> Where's my thing? Uh, I'm trying to paint in air. <clears throat> Here we go. All right, so now we got our three 
little mushroom there. Uh, let's see, doing some die cutting. Um, Angie, don't put it in caps unless you're talking to me, please, because I think you're talking to me. And then I'm trying to follow a stream of conversation that I can't follow when I'm not following. <laughs> That's why I asked just to put it, y'all put it in caps if you're talking to me. I appreciate that. Okay, so let's see. Move the pen seals. All right. Um, let's clean this brush. All right, so now I'm going to pop dot these, and I'll go ahead and I'll put them on with uh, some pop dots, and uh, but I'm not going to stick them down yet because I want to maybe move them around. So I'm just going to go ahead and put these. Now, these dots from the side, you may be able to see the white. So you want to make sure that that's not showing either. Or you can cut them down, cut them in half, cut them down a little bit. Okay, so hopefully those don't show. If they do, I'll pull them back up and uh, fix them. Okay, so I got a little bit of the black paint here. Let's get that off. <clears throat> All right, so now I'm just going to kind of lay these around and just kind of decide where they're going to go. Not just not sure yet. I think I want this bigger one right here. No, I think I want that one right there. And uh, I probably have to put some more dots, but we'll see. Maybe this one here. Do I want one sticking out there or wait? I don't want them too like lined up like little so there we go we'll go like there all right I like them a little or even a little behind no no it can't be behind it's got to go on top all right something like this Somewhere like that. maybe a little bit up there we go that one can go a little higher up on the little hill on the little knoll like that all right something like that Okay, now a sip of water. All right. Now I'm going to get into some different fun stuff. I still have my paint out. I can still put some other paint and stuff. And these have not been glued down. I mean, I haven't peeled off the sticker back yet. Although I think I do want this one right here. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one down. Because I do like that one right there. I know that will be good right there. Okay. Isn't that cute? I really like them where they are. I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and do it. I might regret sticking them down until I decide for sure, but I'm going to go ahead and do it. Again, make sure that you're not all the way to the edge because you're going to have to have room for the frame thing. The frame, there's that insert. Otherwise, you'll be taking it back out and, re and moving them around. All right. Like that. Okay. Thank you, David. Hi, Vol. Success. I don't know. Today's been kind of a little frustrating. All right. So now let's look and see what we got in here. We got this stuff and I got other stuff too. I got some flowers here. I don't know if I'm going to, I got leaves and flowers in this little bucket and I got stuff like these. See, that's too bright. I'd have to paint those down if I use those. But I have some feather stuff. These feathers would look good just as little, like, trees. But they may be too shiny. Can we, yeah, those are going to be too shiny. So let's move that out of, let's move that out of the way for me. Here we go. Some of this. Now, I don't know if I want purple, but I do like some of these green leaves. Look. See what I mean, Vern? Like that. Maybe even kind of over the moon, over the moon. And then something else down here. And I love these. Um, they're on plastic right now. But I love these butterflies, these little dimensional butterflies. You can, I think this is one that you can open their wings. No, not this one, another one there. But I got these little butterflies. I think I like the brown one because it almost looks like a lunar moth. Like a little lunar moth up there. 
maybe kind of on the door frame there or maybe going this way on the door frame i like that because it looks like it's coming in if you have things flying out it draws your eye off the page whereas if you have it like coming in it's going to draw your eye into the page but i got a couple of those different ones maybe we'll have another one tucked behind the right there on there yeah there we go and you can barely see that one okay then i got all these mushrooms these are kind of too big i have those little ones that janet my janet nash <laughs> where are, where's those little tiny ones here my janet nash uh, barbie photography see i use these let's put them back in here and get these little ones so i got a couple of little tiny mushrooms that look real do I have another little one in there? I want a couple of the little ones. These are going to be a little too fat, I think. Well, maybe not. I don't know. You don't. You want to make sure that your glass isn't going to be, uh, you know. Uh, here we go. I got a couple more little ones in here. That your glass is not going to be affected. And I got these flowers. Those are too white. Let's see what else we got. <clears throat> I'm talking to myself. <laughs> So I'm thinking, you know, one of these little, and of course I'll glue it down so that everything's staying. But maybe one of these little mushrooms somewhere here. And then maybe one more over here in this corner like that. What do y'all think? Is it looking good? And let's see what else. We got, I don't want anything too bright. If I'm going to use any color, it's going to be orange, you know, kind of yellow and orange. So I have all different colors of flowers and stuff, but I'd either have to paint them or find some different ones. All right, let's get another leaf thing here, maybe back in here. Back behind here, we'll have another little green peeking out behind there. And maybe something over this. This will be sturdy here in a minute. Mm, let's see. Just maybe, I don't want purple. Just want the green fluff it up a little that might be a little much maybe i just need half of that i don't know let's see that's that looks like a little much it just needs a little about half of that let's pull some of those off i just peeking it there we go that's better i can't be going off the edge <clears throat> can't go off the edge because of the frame got to keep that in mind let's just pull that last that one off then just a couple that'll work and then the mushroom will be there like that uh can you paint the mushrooms yes i can do they need to be like what color should they be like maybe a little bit more sienna are they too bright? Is that what you're saying? See, the, this is bright. That's bright. This is kind of bright. The door frame is kind of bright. So it kind of brings a little bit of light down there. But if it's too much, I can knock it back. All right. Let's see. I got these little berries, maybe. Do I need some of those? Probably not, but you know. Maybe one right there. That might be too much of covering up the covering up, but I kind of like that on the right on the door frame. And now I will trim down these stems too. I like that. Is your choice? I was curious. Yes, I can paint them. I just think that it might need a little bit. It might be a little too bright, but it's the same brightness as this, this, the door frame. You know what I mean? It kind of brings a little bit of the brightness down there. But I could be wrong, Janet. And I got some of this. That might be too green. I don't know. It almost looks a little too green. Turn it over. That's maybe that side. And down here on the bottom. I think I might put a couple of these. I'll cut them down. All right, I think that's enough out of this uh, forest bucket. Bucket of forest. All right, now let's see what else do I have here. I got these metal these metal pieces. Don't really go with this. All right, 
right. Look in my flower bucket. And see, look, I put together some of the jars, some of the jar, um, Portos jars, and some other stuff to put and make another little fall box. So that's all ready to go. Okay, let's see here. Maybe a little bit of leafage there. All right, so let me take a minute. I also have plenty of jewels and glitter and glam if we need any of that. Little jars. Let me see. If we need anything gold or silver or sparkly. Of course, I can always use um, uh, stickles too. See, I got little, here's the little keys that I use for the gnomes. Um, all kinds of other little stuff. And this is just this handy stuff. I mean, I could dig into some, I could dig deep, people. I could dig deep. <laughs> but I think we're going to just go with this because I want to put it in the frame so that you can see it. All right, so right now I'm going to take this little thing off here and I'm going to glue. Get off the glue here. And the, the hardest part to make stay um, secure are the little mushrooms. They are, they're going to take a minute to dry. So I'm going to have to be careful. I'm going to have to be careful lifting this up and, uh, and putting it in the frame because of the mushrooms. See, this is the one that had the um, butterflies. So we might let it sit for a few minutes. All right, I got that, that. Okay, now I want this little bit. Hang on, guys. We're not looking at chat. And this glue does dry clear. Eileen's tacky. It dries clear. So if you see any glue right now, it won't show at the end of the day. All right, let's move some of this stuff out of the way. Okay. Now I want to have this cut down a little or do I want that to kind of hmm. I think I need some leaves down here yeah all right so let me go ahead and put this down cut this down <laughs> bend it there we go And then I want some of this leaf over that. So let's kind of see what we can do there. How much do I need to cut this down? Hang on, guys. I'm I'm in the glue I'm in the glue mode. <laughs> kind of like that. And then if that mushroom's attached to that leaf, now remember I can't have it. I can't have it go um, down too far. Otherwise the frame thing won't work there let me see if I'm just a dot down there it'll dry clear but let's put a little dot there and then where is it going to lie the flattest let's see if I can get it to touch that other one there sticking up too far Hmm. Maybe I need to turn it over. Oops. These don't really like to lie flat, so I gotta kind of work them. Gotta work these. Got glue on both sides, but that's okay. It'll dry clear. All right, like that. 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 Okay. Okay. Maybe. Let's do this mushroom here. <clears throat> Tuck that 
there. Y'all still with the tour? <laughs> Y'all still with the tour? Okay. All right. This... little moth guy right there and this leaf down in here I think not maybe too much of the same maybe hmm but it does need that in there so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this down And you can take your time when you do this and shuffle things around and, and change your mind and, you know. Could put a little planet right in there. I think it needs a little planet. Do I need any of these? Maybe right there. Got to cut it down though, just a little. The glue will dry clear. Devin made me do that. Made you do what? 3D stars? Oh, 3D stars? Well, I was thinking of a little planet. You know. I can put stickles in there, too. I can put stickle stars, you know. Um, I can put little stickle stars. You won't see them very well right now, but I'll put some in there. I just got to be careful not to, not to touch them, you know. I'll hold it up, though, so you can see. I just can't shift things around too much right now until these uh, mushrooms set, right? I could add some other little gold. Like, I can add some gold, like, to the door here, just a little bit, to the doorknob. Same thing for this one. And this one will add a little bit of gold to the doorknob, to the hardware. Okay. And I can always add more stuff, you know. All right. Do I need some, just one of these little leaves down there? I don't think you need, maybe right there. I think that would take a little ed edge off of that right there. Let's go ahead and add these little leaves. down just a little bit you can't really see it very much but again it's the mushrooms that are going to take some time to dry but let's see if you can see some of the gold up there and the stars see that line right there see i should have tore that line but you know it is what it is i could do something along there i might go back and do something with it too but torn edges blend with paint where cut edges do not. All right, let's see. I don't want that little dot of white paint right there. So let's just get a little bit of black on my finger. And get rid of that little bit right there. Just kind of blend. All right, so um, this could have a glitter star on the inside here and i really wouldn't mind a planet a planet right in there let's see what i can find real quick let me punch something or cut something or just find a little piece of something even just a little piece of pattern paper or something let me look mm, here we go something like this <clears throat> See, I have this little bit right here, paper. I can just cut a little planet. 
just cut a little circle. I'm getting it too little, I think. Oh, don't really want that. Oh, here, this color. There's some green on the back. Let's do that. A little green. A little green planet back there. And we'll take a minute to do the uh, sticker decal thing. All right. Just like that. So you can just peek in there and see it. All right. Do I need anything else? Do I need another little bit of green? Green. I don't want to cover up those stairs. I like the stairs. I'm just seeing if there's... Do I need a little piece of something, something anywhere else? Do I need another piece of green right there? Maybe one of these little leaves here. Let's cut this down. Right there. This mushroom is not going to want to lay. Here we go. That one, that one's kind of sticking. Let's make sure this one's going to stick. And that one's going to stick. Right, just let me give me a minute on the mushrooms. <laughs> so, thanks guys. I think it's looking pretty good. Let's kind of flop those little wings down a little. They want to curl too much. Just a little curlage, a little curlage there. All right. So that is with, and let me show you the books again. These two books, the door ephemera and the window ephemera. I did a flip at the beginning, so if you missed it, I flipped through both of these books at the beginning. So and you can get them on <clears throat> get them on Amazon, and I will post a picture of this, and probably the door book because that's the one I use the most. Um, well, I could probably post both books. So let me get the cover here. Here we go. See the beginning. One's in the beginning and one's at the back. Here we go. Katie Curry and Poor Toast. And you can find Poor Toast on IG. And that's just some of the books there. And then let me show you here. The, some more. So, let me move my paint and stuff out of the way. Got Barbie. My Barbie's over there holding all the prompts that flew everywhere. All right, so... Now I'm going to put it in the frame, but I'll have to take it back out of the frame to take a picture, and I'll put it on a black background or something so it's, you know, it does, none of this shows. But here's our frame. Um, I'm hoping I can do this without losing the mushrooms. If they fall off, we will... Well, you know what? Let me just... Uh, let me let it sit for a few minutes more while we do the decal thing. That'll give it five or ten minutes, and that'll be, you know, better for it. So we'll let it sit here, and let me show you what Janet and I were talking about. The stickers into decals. I don't know where to put it. I guess just right there. So y'all remember having done over the years where you take fashion magazines, especially because they're thin and the ink transfers real easily. All right, hang on. Let me go get a little bowl downstairs. I'm going to need a little bowl. Just a minute. Let me run some water to get some hot water.
Okay, let that just run for just a second while I get out the other stuff. So Janet did this on one of her uh, zines, her extra zines. And uh, I can't walk through here. There's so much stuff on the floor. All right, let me grab one of the sticker books here. Hang on, which one do I want? The bees? We're doing, yeah, let's do this one. All right. So I'm going to get out one of these, one of our sticker books. Okay, and I'll show y'all a couple samples like my water's running in, in there to get it uh, hot. All right, let's get a piece here. Paper. All right. And packing tape. All right, so this is what you need. Um, thank you, Janet. Hi, Artie Dar. All right, so when you have these stickers... Especially if they have a color color in the back. Let me find one that has a more of a color. These don't really have too much of a color, but we'll just do one for the sake of maybe I'll use one. Let's see. Maybe this little orange one. Uh, I don't want to stick one down here that I can't use on there. All right, so here we'll use this one. All right, so here you see you if you have one of these kind of stickers that have the edge on them, and a lot of your sticker books have blue pink they have different color backgrounds right this book here seems to have all white but some of your sticker books have backgrounds that are color all right so then when you go to stick them on there you see the edge now let me go get my hang on my water's probably hot right now It doesn't have to be boiling hot. You just want it, you know, warm. It's pretty warm. All right, so I got me a little bowl of water right here. I'm going to set it over here. All right, so you can see, you can you can always take the time to fussy cut, which is usually what I do, right? I usually fussy cut around to get rid of the edges, especially if they're a color. But you can take, I'm trying to find a butterfly I want to use. that. I would like to use that one, but it's a little small. I would like a little one a little bit bigger if I'm going to use it on my piece here. Um, which one do I like? Maybe half of this. All right. Well, I'm just going to go with this one. All right. So here we got a sticker. Okay. And this can work with anything. I was just trying to think of something I might be able to use on this piece, but I don't know if I will. All right. So you got your take a piece of packing tape. Okay, so you got your packing tape, got your sticker, and you're going to just put the packing tape over the sticker like this, right? So you've got your sticker, and you really want to, and this is especially true if you use magazine images, especially true if you use magazine images. You really want to make sure that that's, that tape is stuck like glue. Uh, maybe I'll do a piece of a fashion magazine, too, to show you. Because you might be more apt to use a fashion magazine or something in a magazine. But I'm going to make sure this is really, really stuck down. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to drop it in my warm water. Okay. I'm going to put it in my warm water. Now while that's sitting there, I'll go ahead and we'll see if I have a fashion magazine or something. I think my fashion magazines are in the other room. Oh, here, I have a watch magazine. I've not tried anything out of this watch magazine. But y'all know I love me some watches. Let's just pick one out here. Let's see. Here's one. And it does have to be something that'll fit on the packing tape. You know, your packing tape is only, you know, two inches wide or whatever. All right, so I'm going to take, take a piece of a watch here. Another piece of packing tape, and I'm going to put it on there. And again, you really want to make sure it's adhered really, really well. Okay, you, we used to do this all the time with fashion magazines. All right, so I'm going to put that one in there and let it set. Now, this one should almost be done. So what you're going to do is while it's in the water, you could do it under running water is easier. And you're going to... I probably should go do it under running, running water. But what you're going to do is you're going to rub off the paper backing. And it's not soaked long enough yet.
But if you run it under your water, your faucet, while it's doing it, it is easier. Okay, so maybe this one will probably be fast, the fastest one. But you, you soak, you're soaking the paper. So you can see how it's starting to soak in right there. And what it's going to do, it's going to make a decal. It's going to make it clear, like a clear sticker is what it's going to do. Essentially, it's going to make like a clear sticker. All right, so this one's already starting to work. The magazine, the magazine paper, okay, because it's so thin. It's thinner than the sticker paper. Okay, so I'm just going to work it here. And then you can put this over in different collage elements and different things. Okay, I'm still letting that butterfly stick because this is coming off quicker. Again, you can do it under running water if you want or, how, you know, whatever. This needs to be warm because otherwise it's going to take all day. So, almost got it here. Now, I did not trim. I did not trim this off. So, let's just keep working here. Just trying to work it. You're trying to work it down to the ink, essentially. But you want to be careful not to rub rub it so hard you're rubbing the ink off too all right this might be good enough to give you the example i'm still i can still keep working it but it makes it a clear decal okay it makes it clear uh, that doesn't help much <clears throat> well you can see from the back how it's clear all right let me do let me see if my this one's done yet it's getting there take some takes a minute like I said, I usually do it under running water. And it takes off all the paper. And what you're left with is just clear. See the paper starting to peel there? And you're just left with a clear sticker or a decal. See it's starting to peel off there? It's going to take a minute. I'm getting it. <laughs> I'm starting to get it off there, see? <clears throat> almost starting to come up and you just you really just want to keep like rolling it rolling it off have y'all done this before packing tape uh transfers it's been around forever people forever like it's one of the you know old old school transfer techniques but um, Janet was going to, you know, using it on her uh, sticker, uh, what do you call it, uh, zine, when she was doing the zine. All right, so I got it about halfway here. I really kind of wanted to try to use it, but I don't know. It's going to take me a minute. See see how half of it's off? It just takes a, it takes a minute to get it off. Got to kind of really get the water nice and warm. And then what you have is a clear sticker. Once, once you get all the paper off the back. See, all this will come off. Long time ago. Yeah, right, Ann? So you just got to keep working it until all the paper is off. I think I just want to give you all the idea here. Can you all see how that side's almost done? That side's getting more wet too and you can let it sit for like 10 15 minutes you know well i check it at five i check it at five and see if it starts rolling off and otherwise you can just leave it sitting in the water for a while you know i'm kind of trying to rush it here so i think it's cool to make it uh, make your clear stickers and it, and like i said it works with anything um anything ink transferable like that it'll take another minute i'll just leave it in there for a minute all right so did y'all get that idea <laughs> now let me go move this out of here before the cats come and step in it okay well i got most of the paint off my hands while i was in that warm water 
<laughs> All right, so now let's go back to our let's go back to our frame here. And I'm going to try to put it in there and not lose our mushrooms. All righty, let's see. All right, let me check. Does, did I miss anything important? I glanced up and didn't see a lot of uh, caps. So let me scroll back a little bit here. Uh, love, I, uh, Julie likes all the dimension. I think she means in this. Looking, scrolling for anything in caps. Uh, Dar said my paint brushes lose their painted handle sitting. Well, I don't leave mine sitting in water. The only uh, brushes that stay in water are my glue brushes, and they're the cast-offs from other projects. Okay, got a little bit of water there. All right, so now remember, I've got wet stickles. This will take a couple hours to dry. So i got to be careful not to touch any of those wet areas. All right, so piece of paper flew. All right, so let's go ahead and try to get this in here and still not let the mushrooms fall off hopefully. And I'll have to take it back. I'll just tack, you know, I'll just close two of them because I'm going to have to take it back out to photograph it. So there we go. And see how you can put things down here? I could put some more little weeds, some little flowers, some little things. It's like a little ledge there. See there, see the little ledge? You got about an inch and a half of space. So there we go. Let me see if I can move it away from the camera the glare. And I could open this door just a little bit more, but you can still peek in there. See? All right, let's back out. Maybe you can see it a little better if I back out. There we go. So yeah, there's our little, trying to tilt it so that you can, Every, every, I have lights. There we go. I have lights all the way around the room. So there's lights every, every which way I turn it. But uh, there you go. Put the camera right behind that door. <laughs> but I'll take a picture of it. Um, I'll probably have to do a couple angles with it because of the, uh, oh, there's my mailman. He's bringing something to the door. Should I go see what it is? I usually try to meet him out there. He's probably thinking, man, she's not meeting me out here today. Wait, I'll, I'll wait till he walks away and then I'll go get the mail. Let's see if he brought us anything good. I see you, Malibu. She wants to come up here. So there we go. I think it turned out pretty good. Again, we can add more stuff in there, like along the bottom. What's he doing? He's sitting on my porch. Okay, let me go see what he's doing. Hang on. Okay, guys, I think it's my Selena order of her new journal kits. Oh, ran out to the curb because he doesn't bring that loose mail. That's in the mailbox. He just brought the box to the porch. So let's open it, shall we? We have time. I'm going to catch my breath. No, I'm ripping it open. Okay. That's exactly what it is. That's my Selena order. 
All right. I've got, I bought two of the kits, one for me and one for Samantha. Because, you know, Samantha's in fashion merchandising. And these kits are fashion um, themed. Hang on, let me catch my breath. I ran all the way to this curb and back. All right, so let me move this over. I, again, I will take pictures and I will post pictures of both of the window and door books on IG after a while. Okay, so let's see. So Selena Amore Fabrics, if you go to her YouTube channel, she will lead direct you to her Etsy channel and you can get cool kits. Oh, wait. Something's wet here. <laughs> Let me get a baby wipe. <clears throat> Let me get to... Hang on, there's a little clip in there too. All right. Let me wipe off some of the water when I was doing those stickers. We covered a lot today. All right, let's make sure this is dry. Get a towel here. Maybe photo without, oh yes, that's what I would do, Dar. I would, that's why I said earlier, I'll take it back out of the frame to photo, to, to photo, you know, do the photography to, you know, without the glass. Yes, for sure, Dar. I know how to do that. Okay. So where's my invoice? Gosh, I got such a mess in here. I'm going to be in here a while doing this up today. All right. So this is a fashion so I bought two separate kits, and you get to pick which kits you want. And then I also bought a little accessory of fabric. And then I think she sent me some extra papers here. Yeah, I think she sent me some extra papers. So let's go back to the side because I want to open up the kits. <clears throat> so the kits come like this with all the papers and how to make, you know, like a junk journal, but fashion themed. And then I just bought an extra pack because I go through this. Um, her uh, sorry silks and uh, she also has cantha cloth. I don't think there's any cantha in this. But y'all seen where I bought that before. So thank you, Janet. You're the sweetest one. Can I call you after stream, Janet, or will you be busy? Because I know you got company. I don't want to call during company. Um, so there's her YouTube channel. And the same name, Amor Fabrics, is also her Etsy shop. Okay. All right. So let's look at the extra. I just bought this because I thought maybe we might need some extra fabrics. But her fabrics are beautiful and they are not expensive. They're not expensive. And she um, she has a she has a video even on her YouTube channel of her her warehouse, if you will her workspace and it's really it's awesome okay so these are like squares they're about 12 i'm thinking now maybe not let me let me measure i don't want to guess so yeah selena yummy's on deck exactly oh my gosh <laughs> all right so they're about 10 they're about 10 by 10 thereabouts and uh, so this is not part of the kit. I bought this separate, but you, you can buy this, buy her fabric separate. So I just thought I'd flip through these so you can kind of get an idea. I love, love Selena's fabrics. And I buy quite a bit because I use these to make my, also to make my prayer pouches. My prayer pouches, I use her uh, cantha cloths and her, uh, and some of these silks and the trims for um, the prayer pouches. Look at this one. Look at that. It's all dimensional. Look at that. Isn't that stunning? <clears throat> Look at that edge. All these beautiful applique pieces of fabric. I know. I do too, Kathy. And Kathy, you and uh, Kimberly have happy mail coming. I did mail something out to y'all yesterday. I actually had to go back to the post office. So I went back when I was, well, I might as well go ahead and get Kathy and Kimberly's Society of Idea Collector. What happened was, is on Kathy's show yesterday, 
she um, pulled out her old society uh, society of idea collectors journal from I don't know how do you remember how far back it went because she didn't have a date at the time five six seven eight years Kimberly too so because they had kept society of idea collector notebooks for that long I sent them each a gift <laughs> So I went back. I had to go back to the post office. So um, I, I went ahead and got those two, y'all. I'm not going to tell you what it was. You'll just have to see. But look at these, guys. Look at that beautiful applique. <clears throat> so I didn't count how many there are, but that's how many she has in a, in a pack. And there's different sets. You can buy little pieces. You can buy these. You can, there's all different sizes and all different kinds of, you know, the fabrics. So um, so I bought that as a separate thing from the kits. Now I bought two different kits because I bought one for me and one for Samantha. So we're going to, we'll look at at least one. We'll see how the time goes. It was from when I started. I don't even remember when I started the Society of Idea Collectors. Long time. It's been a while, Kathy. All right. So these are to make journals, to make journals. And she has everything included including some stunning fabrics you'll have to go and you have to look at the um the she has slide over pictures so it's got like a belt thing with a buckle this looks like a you know it almost looks like a bakelite or something but anyway so here's the fab here's the this is wrapped around it i'll put it i'll put it all back together if i show mine and samantha's so here's some of the fabrics here's this applique and the kit, the kits, I think, are thirty-five dollars. So that's what that's what one of these kits cost. This is like a, a thick, like upholstery fabric. So you can make you can make lots of different sizes, any you know size kit, size journal you want. This one is also um, a heavy um, upholstery red velvet. I think she said this was vintage, but look, it's like embossed. It's like embossed velvet, red velvet, like sofas. Here's some more. This is kind of like a silk, bro it's like a brocade. Okay, and then look at this one. This has got, um, what do you call it, uh, velvet overlays. And look at that shine on that fabric. Won't this make a stunning journal, guys? Stunning journal. And, you know, you could actually get, you know, you could get multiple journals. Or you can make... You can make four journals out of just the fabric, right? So there's that and this and then some silk, a band that she had it all tied together with. And then there's these papers. And there's each one's unique, you know, and she says that on her YouTube channel uh, when she talks about the different papers that she pulls out of these books to make. You know, you can either cut them, you can fold them, you can make them into pages, or you could just, you know, make them into, cut them down, however you want to do. I'm just going to flip. And so um, there's just different, you know, all different kinds of uh, fashion. That's why I got it, because they're out of, they're, these are out of fashion uh, books. She got a bunch of fashion books and she's deconstructed them and put them in so you could have them in a kit. Yeah. Does she ship international? I think she does and makes. I think she does. But don't quote me on it because I can't swear to it. But I think she does ship international. Of course, you have to pay, you know, international shipping. But you would have to get with her on that. Or look on her look on her Etsy. It's Amour Fabrique on Etsy. But go to her YouTube channel first because sometimes she has deals and codes and things like that so you check her go watch her youtube channel give her a thumbs up tell her Dee Dee sent her sent you and um so and then here's a different book you know different and they're old books they're all yellowed around the edges and so <clears throat> oh hubster's gonna love that he loves errol flynn he was a booger bear but you know he was a good actor and so this was out of um, a big um, art book, but look how you can use it, you know, cut it down and make it a journal page. Here's another one. So just tons of fashion, you know, she looks like from the 70s. 
And then here's some vintage, like Dover type books or old old uh, ma uh, catalogs or something. These look like Dover. Mm -mm. But look how you can fold them. Look. They fold right down the middle. So if y'all have any questions, I know Ann makes, I love these kits too. I haven't shown you all the goodies in there either. This is just this fabric and the paper. Okay. So look, isn't that cool? I'm glad the mailman came because I was going to have to wait till next week. Because And Janet makes fun of me because she call, says I adult too much. Like if this would have came today after stream, I would not have opened it until Monday to show y'all what it looked like. <laughs> Jan said, I'd be ripping that thing open, but I would like y'all to see, you know, what it looks like and stuff when I get it. So that's all the papers and the fabrics. So I'm glad it came before my stream ended. <laughs> and then here's the little bag of goodies that came come with it. And I don't know which one I'll keep and which one I'll give to Samantha. I'll look at them both. <laughs> so then in the little bag of goodies here, you got some vintage thread. Again, I wouldn't sew with this. <laughs> You'd be ripping it open too, Anne. Some vintage buttons on a button card. And you can see a lot of this stuff when you go to the, her Etsy shop. You can it flip through the slide down, you know, so you can see what all you get in there. Here's a bunch of car um, playing cards. Has everything wrapped so nice. Oh, come back here. Some different fashion looking cards. So let's look at these. Oh, the Klondike Gold Rush playing cards. I love gold, the show Gold Rush. So look, little folk art, little French girl, golfer girl, golfer guy. It's another little fashion card. Another little folk art, then a little mini card, a little, a little Picasso bullfighter. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Lady Jan. Hope you've been well. Have you got your, any of your happy mail? Hope it doesn't take six months like it does sometime to Ireland, Tori, bless her heart. <laughs> I hope you've got some of you. Oh, you got uh, L4 stickers, Oh, which came last Saturday. Okay, good. And you had successful cataract surgery. Awesome, Lady Jan. Thank you so much. I do appreciate. And I'm glad you let me know that you got your stickers. Because, you know, I can't, uh, Lady True North's up in Canada. I always wonder about some of those internationals. They go out, but, you know. So thanks, Lady, for uh, Jan. Let me know if you have a specific sticker you'd like, uh, you know, let me know as well. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll just send you some surprise sticker. Where's my pin? I lost all my pins. Where all my pins go? Here we go. <clears throat> I'm writing this down. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. I know, right, Devin? Thank you. And I'm glad your, your cataract surgery went well. I've had one eye done. <laughs> um, okay, so let's see. Then there's some little pieces of, there's some little uh, velvet piece. Another little velvet pieces. Oh, these are all like little velvet pieces. Just little pieces of velvet. These will be awesome. You can make in your journal. You can make pockets. You can have little velvet pockets. Here's a piece of lace. Here's another piece of lace. <clears throat> and here's a piece of like silk. So there's the kit. You get the small pieces of silk and velvet and lace, the cards, the button card, the string, the thread, the uh, buckle, and the fabrics and the papers, uh, the book pages. So let me kind of stack this up. I want to keep these because if I don't know which one I'm going to give to Samantha yet. <laughs> so let me move this one to the side and I'll show you the other one. We have five minutes. It's enough time to show you the other one. If you want to see it, does anybody want to see it? 
I know you do. You should see this room. Janet, Janet would be passing out right now. Literally passing out. All right, so let's open the other one. Okay. So again, everyone's different. It has a, you know, the silky. It's like, um, I don't know, a distressed silk like, and, and it, they have a buckle to hold it all together. So they're going to be sim similar, but different fabrics and, and different fabric pieces, right? And you'll look, there's an applique. There's just a piece of um, hula skirt. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> like uh, this is something that Carol Burnett would have put on her dress when she uh, did the Gone with the Wind scene. <laughs> I love it. All right, so here's some velvet. <laughs> and again, you can make a you can make a journal out of each one of these pieces. It's very heavy. It's like it's upholstery fabric thickness. You know, except this the brocade's not quite as thick, but it's, you know, it's very very sturdy fabric. And then here's another piece of this. This is just amazing to me. It's it's velvet, but look at that sheen. There's probably a name for this kind of I don't know, brocade or something, some kind of name for this. Okay, so there's those fabrics. And then let's flip through the papers real quick. I'm going to flip through the um, fashion pages. Devin, there's a nice piece of fabric in each, in each tie. Oh, they must be talking about something else. Okay, so I'm just going to flip through so you can get an idea. I might be missing, you know, a couple might be stuck together. I'm trying to get in between each one. But won't this be a great fashion junk journal? Um, <clears throat> so I think it would be fun to do a fashion junk journal. I mean, I'm going to give one to Samantha, like I said. I might let her pick. I don't know. No, because I'll have to take it up to her. So uh, I'll just probably pick. <laughs> This girl here. <clears throat> but then she can make her a junk fashion junk journal. Oh, there's two pages there, I think. Go. Look how that one has a scotch tape. <laughs> All right, another. This looks like some 80s costume thing there so I think you get a good amount especially those heavy fabrics for $35 I think is what they are they are plus shipping uh, it might be free shipping if you order a certain amount I don't remember that either so go make sure you go follow her on uh, Insta. I mean, um, YouTube and on uh, Etsy. So yeah, very very cool. Now let's see what's in the goodie bag. I thought so. I thought so, Lady Jan. So you get the playing cards. I won't open these up. I'm guessing they're pretty much the same as the ones I showed you. Some um, This feels like kind of yarn. Almost feels like yarn. Here's another button card. Vintage button card. And then again, the little pieces of uh, velvet. All these little pieces of velvet. Look at that blue. Oh, Barbie. Barbie outfits. If y'all missed it, I'll show y'all again. Um, I mean, it's on Instagram. But uh, my Barbie photography that I did, I did, uh, if y'all missed it, where'd she go? Where is she? Where's my Barbie? Where are you, Janet? Here she is. It's Janet Nash. So I did a Barbie photography sesh with Janet Nash in the pumpkin patch. There's her little boots. Janet Nash in the pumpkin patch with Freddie. So if y'all missed my IG post, go look at that because there's like four pictures. 
it's like a little comic. She's talking to Freddy. And uh, she has her little basket and everything. So, yeah. So, make sure and go look at that. And, um, again, here's the door and window books from uh, Kate Curry and Portos. And here's the piece we did today. If y'all missed it, Lady Jan, we did this today. If you missed it, I'll, I will take it out and photograph it. So it'll be up on IG after lunch. So I hope y'all enjoyed everything. And uh, sorry that I got my panties in a wad a little bit about the, about the trying to get everything in, squeezed in, you know, on a show <clears throat> with the uh, prompts and everything. But I love y'all and I love showing off y'all stuff. I just have to do it in a more timely fashion. <laughs> okay, so I'll put all this back together. And uh, yeah, so, oh, thank y'all. Thank you, Devin. So I'm going to go make some rice bowls for lunch. And, um, and I guess that's about it, guys. If nobody has any questions, if you do have any questions, leave them in the comments after the video uh, renders on YouTube. And also, if you watch the videos on, you know, the replay, sometimes it takes an hour or so before the chat to show up. Also, make sure anytime you watch any, li any live chats, even the recordings, always make sure you check um, all chat at the top. Because if you just have top chat, which is a default, you won't see all the chat. So just saying. Thank you, Janet. I appreciate it. And thank all, oh, thank you. All right, guys, want well, to head out, go make Hubster and I some lunch, then get this mess cleaned up because it is a hot mess in here. <laughs> all right, guys, y'all have a great rest of your week and weekend. Uh, again, if you have any questions on any of the books or anything, I do try to read my comments um, every day and uh, answer any questions. Oh, uh -huh. and coming up. I think is it gonna? It will be October by the next uh, stream. So y'all know I'm gonna be working in my um, Inktober. So Inktober's coming up. October's coming up. So we'll have some fun in October. I have lots of things planned. So bye, guys. <laughs>